Picture camera here? What? Jesus. You got all the What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's going to documentary. Jesus it's a documentary. Say hi. Uh, it's good. Oh, it's good. All right, boys, so before you guys listen to this podcast, we talked about a lot of shit. We got pretty deep about the pandemic. And you guys know how it is now on the internet, especially on YouTube. They actually announced like anything about the vaccine or what they call misinformation which is pretty much saying your opinion on the pandemic. They're gonna be deleting, they're gonna be cracking down on it. You guys know how it is on the internet now. There's no more free speech. Like, don't even pretend there is. So, if you guys don't know, we relaunched our members on fullsend.com. We're gonna be uploading the unedited, the uncensored podcasts onto fullsend.com that you can watch there. And you can basically listen to the shit that we had to cut out of this episode or literally get deleted off YouTube. It's the same on Instagram. It's the same on TikTok or Snapchat. You can't talk about this shit. You can't even say the word of the pandemic because they have an audio detection system that whenever you say it, they can instantly know and they flag it and it gets less views. So guys, who knows how long we're even going to be able to be on YouTube. I bet you in a year from now, the rules are just going to be so strict that you can't even fucking talk about anything. They're destroying free speech every day on the internet. So that's why we've started FullSend.com. If you're a member, there's also exclusive merch, um, unedited Nelk and Steve videos where we can make all the dark humor jokes we want. And there's also the Full Send Girls that we launched where there's a new girl every single week. Absolute smoke shows, jerk approved. And that's it, boys. Thanks for being a member. And uh, let's get into the podcast. You're about to muck those? Yeah, not too many. It's a little Holy weird. shit, bro. Yeah. He came in. Yo, Kyle just came back from a pump. Nah, I didn't pump. <laughs> nah, it was why the lights all off in I your struck room. out. I struck out. Oh, struck out. So you, I guess you, you technically do do drugs then. Have you ever what? like, show, have you ever shown that on camera and shit? Um, I've talked about it. Have you? I've, talk, I've never like actually shown myself eat like a cat. Because I remember mushroom. when me and Steve would film the videos with you. And we were making the whole Bradley Martin Souls Me drug shit. Yeah. We were actually like trying to expose you for like doing mushrooms and shit. And we filmed it so many times. Yeah. And we cut it out of the videos. But we're like, yeah. yo, Brad actually does drugs. Yeah. Like not, not crazy drugs, like mushrooms, marijuana. So that's got to be the title. Like with the bag and shit, editors work on the thumbnail. Brad Martin actually does drugs. Exposed. Yeah. So wait, do you like, what's like the, the regimen or how do the you protocol? like protocol? Yeah. Um, so like typically like I won't take actual caps like this because I can't gauge exactly how much mushroom it is. Normally I'll grind it up and I'll take like, you know, 500 to 1,000 milligrams and I'll do it for like a few days at a time. Sometimes I'll do it for a month and I'll stop for like a few months and do it again. But microdosing is just genuinely good for your brain. Like yeah, straight that's up. That's crazy. Now I'm not talking about taking like, you know. Everyone says that, yeah. Yeah, I'm not talking, if I took like, you know, a good handful of this, I'm going to be fucked up be and not, fried, yeah. I'm not going to be able to have a conversation with you. I'll be like, you know, <laughs> in my own head more. Yeah. This though, just kind of makes you feel a little more, more clarity. Yeah. Also just, you know, you just feel like, I don't know, a little more connected to yourself. I feel like I got to try that. Yeah. You'd love well, it. Who has a lighter? But, it, but it's not like you want to take a ton. Like your first time, you no, definitely hell want to take a ton. Cause it can I've never, never I've never tripped on mushrooms tripped. I'm yeah. psychedelics, like sketch me out a little bit. You want to take a cap? Nah. So how many no. of those would like really, really fuck Not you right up? Not right now. But I will. Honestly, well, so, I'm really thinking about it. So like a regular dose, like a heroic dose, like a dose where you take and you're going to get fucked up, it would be like 3.5 grams. It's like a typical, it's like an eighth. You, someone would take that, but like you would take that and you'd probably lay in the grass and like look at the trees and you wouldn't really be much. You might feel a little. I'm going to do, do it see? soon. I'm getting more and more ready. You don't see things that, that aren't already there. You just, you experience things that are already there differently. 
like your oh. perception will kind of shift. Like you'll look at a tree and you'll see all the different shades of green and tree that you maybe wouldn't notice if you were just sober. Wow. That's, that sounds lit. That's though. actually lit as fuck. I might do <laughs> no, that. Yeah. No, it's great. Yeah. But you, but you don't Have do you ever that all the time. Have you fucked on shrooms? No, because if you're uh, like on, I mean, on a microdose, You'd sure. be looking at the pussy and like seeing the clip no, no, and like sorry. all the different fucking. Here's the thing. Yeah. If you get a little too high, you're like, you kind of look like you're, you look at your skin or other people and they look like they're breathing, like their skin is breathing. Like you could see, like if you look at yourself in the mirror and you're on like, a, you know, 3.5 grams, you're kind of like, you look weird to yourself. Really? Because like the, the, like the shadowing, the shadings, like ref, it's just, it's hitting you. Different. I just hate how people say like, I felt like it lasted like a fucking month or some shit. What? Like, you, like people say it lasts so like you in the moment it feels like a nah. week or some shit. Nah, nah when you actually trip. Yeah, even so, it just was like a six hour trip, four hour trip. It wasn't like I'm like that's more like sounds like someone taking DMT and being like, <laughs> yo, I could have been in there for a year, a whole lifetime. Like I've had situations like a buddy of mine smoked DMT out of a crack pipe right in front of me, which is wow. the craziest way to, to to take DMT. A lot of people will take it, you know, in tea form, which is like called ayahuasca. But I watched this guy like literally sit in front of me on a couch just like this. And he had, he put like powdered DMT and smoked it out of a crack pipe. His name's Brandon. Shout out Brandon. And uh, he, he smoked it. And this was years ago when I was like 22. And he smoked it and he handed it off to me. He went like this. And he sat there for 15 minutes and his eyes were just going back and forth in his head. And he gets up and he goes, how long was it? How long was I out? And I said, 15 minutes. And he was like, it could have been a whole nother lifetime. And I no. was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, I'm not That's doing that. I'm know. not doing it. That's a whole different level. That's like the highest level of like psychedelic yeah. things that could happen. Would you ever try that? At some point in my life. I feel life. like I will when I'm a little older. I want to yeah. try it too. That, I'm not really ready for that. I'm not ready for that. No way. I feel like it just makes you think like money doesn't matter, which like it's kind of true. Like it makes you realize shit that like, like shit that we think is important in society, like really isn't right i mean it's not Do you know it, what i mean by that absolutely it, it is all what you make it right like all this stuff and having success or having money is like it's fun it's fun to get it's fun to have but we all know and we know at the end of the day like when we die we're not taking it with us yeah, yeah. But some people are just more competitive than like others who's to like, say like someone fucking living in the middle of a forest couldn't be like genuinely happy Do you know what i mean absolutely. like as like like my brother lives in a van Right? Really? Straight up in a van. He's so happy. Like lives in a van, lives up near Tahoe, goes sne- skiing, snowboarding, whatever he wants. But like, he seems genuinely happy as fuck. But like, to me, it's like, damn, you know, I want all these other things. I want to have a house. And he doesn't care about any of that. I know. So it's all about where you put your emphasis and what you're focused on. Yeah. And I think it changes and shifts for people all throughout their life. But um, I do know like trying not to chase so much, like I need, I need stuff. Sometimes you almost, it comes to you more, more easily. When you're not chasing it all the time. You think? Absolutely. I think in my life when I've, I didn't make it like, I was actually just filming this documentary thing and I, the the feeling of resisting like, or like chasing something and it kind of feels like it goes, it keeps, you keep getting further away the more and more like you Like in business? It. What's that? Like in business you're saying? like In for, everything, like in yeah. Everything. In relationships. You know when you, you got a relationship and it's like not going good and you're like, you're trying to make it work. You're trying, you're trying to make, to make it, it work. You're trying to make it work, mean. right? Yeah. And then you're just That's like stressed out. It's not working. It's not working. And it's like you keep pushing and next thing you know, you kind of, you might just break something and it just kind of can never work after that. It's almost, not that I'm telling and encouraging people not to try, but sometimes like taking a step back and being like, all right. What's really going on here? Like, what's causing this to go away from me? Like, for money, for example, if it keeps feeling like it's going away from you, it's like, what's pushing it in that direction, you know? It's because if you're trying to get it, obviously, you should. You feel like I should be receiving it. But there's some reason why if it just keeps falling away, there's some disconnect that, like, you have to kind of analyze that and of yourself to see, like, okay, what can I change to, to make this whole thing feel, you know? Yeah, not a lot of people smooth. step back and really look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Super common. What's good with the documentary? So we've been filming this for like, it seems like the last two years on and off. It's just about my life and where I, you know, how I started, where I've been, what I've gone through, anxiety, like all the things in my life leading about my childhood and kind of how I got to where I am now. What's it like? Do you know where it's going to like be on and shit or is, or are you guys filming it and then? Like, yeah. What's so we don't know exactly. We, there's some plans like they have other stuff that they have on like Netflix and stuff like that. I know. I think I believe that's the goal. Um, yeah. I'd love to get it on there. Oh, so you're like working with them and then you guys are going to sell it somewhere. Yeah, like after, as far as I know, still, yes. That's cool. Yeah, I'm excited. And how long did you say that uh, you've been doing this documentary? On and off for two years. Yeah, is that what you would like tell us like about a long time ago yeah, too? Yeah, same thing. Damn, so same it's thing. been a fucking process. Yeah, a big process. Also, because it's hard to just like get together to film stuff enough. 
you know. We fucking, uh, we met Drake last night, finally. Oh, yeah. Whoa. We met him last night, yeah. Yeah. In the, so this is going to piss me off now, because he said, where was it Where was it at? It was in, it was in Cahuenga, right? LA? It, yeah, it was in LA, yeah. Oh, okay. Why? So I didn't get the invite, you know? No, I know. Fuck. <laughs> it's all good. No, it's it, was, good. it was, it was, it was, it was fucked. We, dude, I was in bed. I ordered a fucking making Pillsbury cookies with the girl and shit. <laughs> I literally, yeah, I, you I didn't even want to know. I was like dipping my Pillsbury cookies in milk and shit. And Who then, hit you? Uh, his, we've been talking to him for a while, right? But, yeah. uh, rocks, OVO rocks. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so he was he's like, like come well, out. we're having a party and shit. So we're like, was it at like a house go. or was it at a venue? It was at like a venue, like, like a warehouse type shit. Okay. What was it for? His birthday. Oh shit! I didn't, I didn't know it was his birthday. That That's day. dope. I it was yeah, just we didn't know. Party. We're like, fuck. Like, so we missioned down there, and then yeah, it was dope. Who was there? A lot of people. Everyone. Chris Brown, Offset was there. Um, bro, yeah, the Migos roll. It's so funny. Like, there's literally like it's like a fucking blunt train, like a choo-choo train of blunts. Like oh, Offsets in the front, like smoking and shit. And then they're yeah. all literally every single. There's 13 of them. I think was Quavo wasn't there though. Quavo wasn't there. There was a lot of. There were, a lot of his friends look like, but it's a fucking choo choo train. They all have their own blunts and like ten of them, and they just like all like fucking Big blunts work Big around. Blunts. Like, fuck? So funny, bro. So what, what kind of girls were there? Were they industry girls? I wasn't impressed with the broads. There was a, there was not no not 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 any industry girls that I. So seen. it was all like, it Maybe. was all regular. Yeah, I mean regular, but like it was different types. You know what I mean? Like, was it a lot of girls? It was we never been to like a rap party. Like I've that. yeah, we've never been. You know so what I mean? Was, like the bitches yeah. are more like. I've been to a few Chris Brown parties. Yeah, I wonder if it was similar, but at his house, Chris Brown was grooving last night. Like he, he was, was vibing, he yeah. was vibing. Like I was, I was feeling that vibe. Jack Harlow, Drewski were there. Yeah, obviously they're funny. They're funny. They're funny on the internet, like big time. They're yeah. a nice little duo. They're funny as fuck. Yeah, it was dope. He it was, was really dope. Jack Harlow. Who? Jack Harlow? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the guy's like. He's like the man right now. Well, it's cool. He, he came up to us. He's just like, yo, you guys have been killing it and shit. Like, yeah, proud of you yeah. boys. We need to do something soon. That'd be sick. pretty sick. That'd be really it was cool. It's cool to finally like meet him, right? Yeah, it was. And he came like right up to us. Yeah, we were eating canes. I was eating canes. Dave's hot just, chicken. Yeah, Dave's hot chicken. And he just came. You were just eating chicken, chicken sandwiches or chicken like tenders or what? Like, we, we were like five. taking a little break. Like, we were just Did eating. they have it there? Yeah, yeah. they had oh, like okay. a food truck. Fuck, he must be dope. like an investor. But yeah, we were in like a spot where like you wouldn't expect him to be, right? And yeah, just like right there, like oh, what the fuck? And then yeah, I, I, was, I had cool. my back turned, and then all I see is like Kyle just looking to the right, and then I'm like, oh shit! Like it was just it was just like you two. It was just us, just two, us two. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. What's like, like the just, overall like? What's the overall vibe you got? For? Like what kind of? Well, I've been talking to him for a while. Like he he DM me when I uh, bought retired my dad. Yeah. Because they posted it on Six Buzz. It's like a Toronto Instagram page. Right. Right. I seen that. Um. And that's when he DM'd me and he's like, yo, that's that's dope, like proud of you and shit. So we've been like going back and forth, but we never met in person before. But yeah, it was Damn. it was pretty cool. It man. was really, really cool meeting him for the first like time. Like it's man. fucking Drake, you know? Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Drake's the man. Is yeah. he your favorite rapper? Artist right now, for Artist? sure. I think I think overall, I mean like I Those think guys are just like so strategic. Yeah, well, that, well, that's everything the thing. they do. Like I've yeah. learned so much from just like watching how they do things and yeah. how they navigate like beefs or like controversy, you yeah. know, like they I've don't, been, I'm super just, impressed with Drake. They're just smart. Obviously he's a genius and like that team's just fucking. Like, you could tell he has his guard up though. I like got that vibe yesterday. Really? I mean, of course. But yeah. Like, like you could just tell like, he's just like, like, you know what I mean? He's thinking all the time. He that's, seems that's very smart. I, I mean, the, all the things they've done, like, like look like, how they like handled that. Like, Meek Mill beef, for example, or some shit. Yeah. Like Drake, they like, they do the beef with Meek Mill and shit and they like meme the fuck out of him. And then like when the time was right, like it kind of got like not cool to keep hating on Meek. And then they like, now they're boys now again. They're boys, it's just yeah. like, he got what he wanted out of it. And now it's like, you I know? wonder if they plan, cause like, you know, there's certain things in songs or there's certain like things he'll say like that will become memes. I wonder if they plan those things. Not just ah. the not just the Meek Mill one, but like overall. What, like make how the songs are like Instagram captions? Or kind of, not like, like I don't I was, know if it's that deep. I, I, you don't I think it's that well, deep? What do you mean by that, that? that? There's just so many things that I, I, I noticed from Drake, like verses or like songs that become like some little spinoff or something on, you know, like a TikTok, you know, music yeah, thing. Yeah. Or, there's just so much, so much that he's done over the years that you're just, 
if you look at it for what it is, you're like, it's just fucking I think they obviously, you don't think, I mean, when he probably like lays down a bar, they're probably like, oh, that's going to be like a caption. Yeah, they definitely think that, but I don't think he's like intentionally like. Like the my bed and my mama thing. They probably knew that was going to get like, or maybe not. I don't know. It's like, did he just write that just because like that's what he wanted to make? Or is he like strategically writing certain things? Musical genius. I think it just comes with it, right? But that's the thing. It's like, to me, it's not just musically genius. It's also like culturally genius. Culture. Yeah. He's like, he, he, he's like fully knows how to bring it all together. And then the internet like makes it even more relevant. It's crazy. And what, what he just like kind of did for Toronto, I guess. Like, how many people want to go visit Toronto now just because of Drake? Me? I know I'm one of them. Like, it's <laughs> like, I never like, knew about Toronto until I heard of Drake, Like, which is way, way, way back. But Like, like he was, either yeah. got a fucking fat check from, like, Ontario and Canada or Toronto. No, but I think he's a diplomat. <laughs> Yo, that's really? Can we search that up? I'm pretty sure. So, I like, because you see, I saw the other day, like, uh, they were showing uh, screenshots of people that have tweeted uh, that Drake's gotten them into the country. Like yeah. Roddy Rich, yep. he got the baby in to like yeah. Canada. So like, anytime someone comes in, he well, can just make a call and be like, "Remember, we were there with Carnage in. when we went to it was some like oh, little karaoke." That's spot. That's when we were gonna meet him. Yeah, we were gonna and meet we him. We didn't. Yeah, you remember we were, that? We were gonna meet him. We were in Canada. You were about to have a, a threesome with two chicks. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> you love that um, shit, huh? So but they're we're, hot too. Yeah. So we we're in Canada, and like I said, we're on this like no one on this road, right? And we pull up, we're with Carnage and Kyle. We're in like the I wasn't SUV. There, though. Oh, wait, who? So oh. Carnage Carnage asked, and he's like, yo, we got to go to Drake's house, but it's just going to be like us. Because uh, we were with like a ton, ton of people. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, let's do it at the end of the night. Let's go. And then at the end of the night, I was so fucked up, yeah, but did. I was fucked up enough to know, to tell him. I was like, bro, You're too fucked I up can't go to Drake's house him, tonight. Yeah. Like I might yak in his fireplace. So then we ended up going to drop but- off Carnage. <laughs> And, and like, we pulled up and there was like SUVs, like we pulled up an SUV, but there was like, you could tell it was Drake's car and like two black SUVs and like one, two, like three, four, like four guards. He was like rolling around like the president. So I'm sure he's probably got some like connection with the government there. Why not? Did, yeah. Is he a diplomat? No. Oh, I thought he was. Holy wow. shit. And you can't five this it's he's responsible for five percent, it says, of their tourism. But you can't really calculate that too. How could you possibly calculate that? Yeah. Like I don't it's know not that. like he has a fucking affiliate code when people yeah, they're like, yo, you pull up to <laughs> the Use customs? the Drake code of customs for fucking oh, yo, pull up. Right free now. Timmies. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Jake yeah. gets a kickback on the Timmies. Yeah. Dude, that's actually funny. It's good job. Coffee's a little explosive. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, man. he's getting kicked back on that. Drake, on Drake's, yeah, Drake's amazing, man. Like yeah. just everything. To um, impressive dude, guy. What really, really impressive. There? So, what what's new in the business shit with you? I saw we were talking about you launched like Noelle's OnlyFans. Yeah, and Noelle stuff. just launched her OnlyFans. Um, How did you meet her? I well, originally I saw her on the internet. I saw her. It's funny. I just talked about this the other day. Um, I saw a video of her sitting down, um, doing like a Q and A with her friend. This was a, a long time ago. And it got a bunch of views on it. And she has like, didn't really have any subscribers on YouTube. At, on YouTube. And I was like, why does the video get so many views? And I watched it. Obviously, she's an attractive girl, but she's also just very natural on camera. So I saw that and I was like, oh, she could probably really blow up in this industry. Number one, she's attractive. But number two, she's also just natural on camera. And she's not really like cringy. It's not hard at all. For, it's hard to bring in a girl to like a guy's fan base. Yeah. And the guys not comment that she's like. No, she's right? not cringy at all. She's just yeah. like super normal. She's chill. And on camera, she's just herself. Um, and sometimes, I mean, in the beginning when she first came out, it was a little bit like, you could tell she was a little uncomfortable, but I think it's because all the other people that she's like trying to not be like, but she's around who she knows are, is really good at being on the internet. So she's a little quiet. But overall, she just she's just able to be comfortable on camera. And I knew like when I saw that, she can do really well on the internet. So... And She's, you was like, damn, I can maybe pull her. No. What you not that? once. Not I mean, once. you thought about it. You no, had to I have mean, thought no, about it. No. I, shut the fuck up, yeah. bro. No, I, could you okay. not have, I hate to expose you. But. No, no, no. She's hot. She's, she's also just- Does she live in your house? She lives in my house. What the fuck? Yeah, you you definitely- you, I no, know what no, no, thinking. no, no. I did not think about man. it. I'm going to tell you why. You got to keep that mind strong. Yeah, no. Not I to crack flew, with the mic. We mind, man. We flew her out. We signed her to my company, Raw Gear. And now I manage her also as well. Like beyond just working for the company, so there's no so way. Now, now you definitely can't. We know that. No, it but is. I know those. Wait, no, wait. I have an actual no, question. No, because now I know it wears off. You're like now it's business. But like at the beginning, 
you're having those negotiations. You know, you're no, fighting over that no, extra you're five. Like, hey, 10%. listen, like I could do this. You're like, all right, I'll but... drop the five. Yeah, you just give, give me a little. Where, where you, how, how mad were you, or um, how upset were you, were you when uh, Isaiah pulled up? On oh, her? I don't care, man. Huh? I don't care about anyone dating her, <laughs> dude. I don't care at all. Is he? I da- signed he's her. dating her. Yeah, they're dating. And yeah. does he live in the house too? Yeah. Do they sleep in the same room? Yeah. Like they share a room. Yep. <laughs> you ever thought about like separating them, like putting him in another room so that? No, I don't. Why would chance. you do that to him? You well, because like... he's trying to wheel her, right? Or no, no you're not. I'm never trying to wheel you're her. You're not. You're not. You're she's not. like, I she's a, it's legit a good friend. Mm-hmm. She is. Yeah, she seems like a cool person. She, she is cool. Like a really cool. So, person. how does that business work on the OnlyFans like side? Like, what um, do you like? Or if you want to talk about as it. far as what? Just like the the logistics behind it. Well, basically, I I just all she needs to do is shoot the content, and then we take care of everything, like posting it, like making sure, like you know. Um, She's posting, make sure she's communicating, make sure she's answering messages and stuff did like it, that. Did it crush at the beginning? She's doing well. Yeah, she's doing well. That's still For sure. I, she, I'm not going to say. She's just, she's not doing nudity, obviously. No, zero it's nudity. Not, it's no nudity. But it's just that. like content that, you know, maybe she wouldn't post as much of on YouTube. Like, it's sort of some sexy stuff, maybe some implied nudity, but no, like, actual, like, titties or anything like that. How are people reacting to that on on OnlyFans? Well, I've been reading some of the messages. A lot of people love it. Obviously, some people are like show me your titties, mm-hmm, you know, yeah. or like, and I don't blame them for that. But a lot of people are also supportive, just like, hey, any more content from you, I just appreciate it. And wow, a lot of people just send yeah. her like, we'll just send her tips and just send her money because they're like, I don't know, it's actually it's crazy, fucking insane, dude. It's I'm, actually I'm crazy. mind blown by the OnlyFans money. Yeah, it's like it. I'm wondering, like, if I made an OnlyFans, would it be the same? No, though? no, it wouldn't because women have. They're, they're, it's just an uneven playing field. If you're an right? attractive woman, and, Gabe would probably cop it. Maybe. Yeah, Gabe yeah. would. Yeah, Gabe, he actually Gabe. would. Gabe, would you cop my OnlyFans? My my boy, thank you. I mean, especially like for he Noel. Actually would. He for said no- you're he said you're hot before. Really? Yeah. Oh, I love you, Gabe. Thank you. You think Brad's attractive? Oh, that's my guy. Thank you. man. <laughs> if he moved in on you, would you do? What? If he moved in on you, I'd be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> that's all. I'd be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> what no, if he kept going? I'd be like, I don't know if I'm okay with this. I think you should stop. <laughs> when is it to the point where you like punch him? I would never hit him, dude. No way. He's a fucking sweetheart. He's such a good guy. That's like my favorite assistant you guys have had for sure. Yeah, he's Steiny. Gabe's a hard worker. I mean, I love Steiny. It's a little different relationship on that one. But I love Steiny. He's like, not the sweetest guy, you know. Yeah, and he gets <laughs> fucked up at the club and shit. Like, yeah, Gabe's like the sober sitter. You know, yeah. when I'm black, he says out. he's super the manager. Steve. Super responsible, Gabe. Steiny, he's responsible. Steiny just rails Molly in the club and shit. He goes like, crazy, man. Yeah. That guy. Picks up six nines leftovers, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm kidding. Steiny knows I love him. No, he does good. He does. He actually really good. But, yeah, if, if he'll ask Steve sometimes. like, yo, like, can I, can I, like, fuck around? Can I get fucked up? And, then, you know, she says yes, and he just fucking does it. But. Yeah. How was it living in Miami with them? All right. The first, like, three weeks was super rough. Because for some reason, the first three weeks, it was like we were just going out like every day. Not every day, but like, what, three times a weekend. Wow. And then, you know, my days would get fucked because I'm just, it's all, I just like working out is the most important thing for me. So I'll wake up and I'll be like, you know, we stayed up till four, five, six in the morning. And then I need sleep. Not as much. Obviously, I need a lot more now than I used to when I was fucking like 21, 22. And I find working out just 10 times harder after that. Fuck. It's so it's hard, It's the worst man. thing. It's so hard. You got to have a balance with it. So I, Steve I, just doesn't sleep. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah right? He's, he's getting sleep. better now, though. He's getting a lot it's better. It's hitting him now. Yeah. But before he could just, like, go so hard and then wake up at, like, and 8 a.m. and go straight to the gym. Straight to the gym. He's like, he'll text me, like, gym? I'm like, what? Are yeah, like, no, he, he definitely gave me, like, the first three weeks, I was like, this guy's crazy. He can just fucking do it, no problem. <laughs> he's going to do it, no problem, and just come babe. right back. Right back. Your babe, body you want to t- come here? The body takes a toll on you, man. Like that must have happened. It's a balance. It's, I think it's the cycle of like the drinking and then not drinking enough water, not getting enough sleep. Like if you drink and you get enough water, you still get enough sleep. Like you could still function and do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But it's when you just like you're you just constantly are dehydrating yourself and then not getting sleep that really slows you down. That's the worst shit for sure. How long were you in Miami for? Man. With Steve since the month. Um, right? Yeah, One a month. month straight, and then I'd fly back because obviously I had to come back here and like take yeah. care of some stuff, and then fly back and forth. I, th- I think I spent like almost three months out there this year, like two and a half, three months, almost. I'm going to go back when we go back for the the Virgin video. Yo, so how did you get back your gym? You know, I remember you had a problem with that back then, but like when was it when you were like, yeah, fuck, like I got it back now, story. I'm good. Wow. Um, 
It's an interesting question. So I never really had to get it back because I never really like fully, I closed it for like two months. And you guys remember we were in there training like every day, right? Mm -hmm. And then I opened it up and started dealing with like all the legal stuff. Um, and dealt with legal stuff for about six to seven months, kind of just nonstop. The health department people were showing up. You got to shut down. You got to shut down. I wasn't shutting down, obviously. And I went to court, I don't know, maybe maybe 12 times, like to this day. And I think I have a court date in like the next, I don't know, two weeks. But it's kind of getting to the point where um, what it looks like is they're going to dismiss the case. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's so after good. all that, they're just going to throw it away? I, I think so. That's what's what I'm being told. I think um, they want me to do some sort of like community outreach stuff, which is like I'm completely fine with. I think I'm going to work with some like first responders, like policemen or firefighters, uh, train like do some training stuff with them. But uh, yeah, like it's just it's weird how it all went down. Really weird. Were you like really really scared of like losing your gym like fully? Yeah, when they first told me that, yeah, that was the, pretty ballsy of you. Bro. Yeah, that, yeah, that was crazy. I salute you for that, honestly. Yeah, that was well, like wild. That was ballsy. I appreciate it. So the the first uh, lawyer I had actually told me like, oh, the worst case scenario, she was trying to scare me, like, just give up, give up. Like you can get a year in jail. They could take away your gym, your business license, all this stuff. But it never felt right because this lawyer was telling me at the same time, I was like, wait, like, how can they do this to me? Like constitutionally, like you can't just shut someone's business down for a you know, mandate, right? Which isn't exactly a law. So she goes, I know, I know, but like, you have to, you have to fight this case this way. And I think you need to like give in, but in the same conversation, she was saying, but I'm going to do a, like a class action type lawsuit where you can get in on this constitutional argument that you're talking about right now. of like that. You can't legally just shut down a business like that. But she says, but like, give up here and join me over here. And I was like, well, I, how are you saying that telling me to quit? But then you're, you know, that you're going to try and do this case over here. Yeah. That's so I was like, it felt right. So I fired her, found some different attorneys, two different guys who really helped guide me through the process who are a little bit more tied into like the city. And I know like the restaurants, um, like, you know, they work, he works with a ton of restaurants in the city legally. And they kind of guided me through the whole situation, like make it work. But the worst part was the way the health department treated like the gym. Like, cause there was a, a point where they shut down our water and power. They came and shut it down. And then like, I don't know, two, three weeks later, they came back to the gym and just went into the back where the city access the water and power and the lights and everything. And they just put a lock. They shut the lights off and just put a lock on. So it. they just walked in and did that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. No, it's, one, it's one such an interesting topic, man. Yeah. One of the, and one of the health department workers came in dressed as like a police officer with a gun. Oh, so he, yeah, which is, a, no. which is a, I swear to God. And that actually happened? It must've been an actual cop. No, it was not a cop. How'd you, how'd you, how'd you find that out? Because I was there. <laughs> I saw him pull up with a gun. He's did not you, supposed to be doing that. Did you report We had that? a cop who was like, that guy's not supposed to be dressed up like this. And he had a strap. Because cops, every time they would come. But he had a strap? He had a strap on him. Every time they would come, uh -huh. the cops would be like, this is fucking stupid. We're, we have to be here because they're telling us to be here. Because like the health department would call the cops and say, you have to come with us to go to this place for whatever reasons, to, for their protection, right? But none of them were like, we wanted, none of them wanted to be there. It was crazy. Like, it was nuts. So imagine they shut our lights off. And then at some point, I remember emailing them back because they're like, yo, we can turn this back on for you. You got to do these steps. So I tried to do these steps, email them back and be like, hey, we did these steps. Can you come verify so you could turn our lights back on? Because at this point, we were operating out three months with just like, I put generators and I was filling with gasoline every morning, every night. And then we had all these lights set up in the gym and then I had like portable speakers set up. And people were still coming to the gym. Like, it would, but we had like, you know, lights like this almost set up. Mm. Just the cat, because it was like zero AC, anything. And uh, people still loved it. But anyways, it's like three months. It's like, okay, it's enough of this shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I was trying to play by the rules. And imagine asking the same people who shut you down, like, can I get some verification? Come check this. And they, they just like, just disregarded it. Even never hit me back. Never want, to this day, have never hit me. So that cop, his behavior was like, what, like you it wasn't it a was cop. Weird? He was a health a department official. Uh -huh. And I'd say his name, but I don't want to cause any issue. Like, yeah. I'll deal with that when the time is right. Um, and then also, <clears throat> the same people, this same guy said, we tried to uh, hold hostage one of his health department workers. Yeah. And then, wow. what the fuck? but then also said in an email, oh, that was our mistake. We know you didn't actually do that. But that's a very serious allegation. And it's like, take it back. Like, yeah. what? Oh, this is all an email too. 
So th- there's a lot of stuff you know, that was that happening. Happened. And then a- a- along the way, this whole thing, keep in mind, there was another gym down the street, two minutes down the street. There's another gym up the street, bigger, operating same exact way. Guess how many counts of this is the this is the thing that I wasn't doing. 8.77B was the code, civil code, that my gym was not listening to, which is like we're staying open during the thing, right? Mm. There's a gym up the street owned by like a bigger franchise company called Crunch. They, but it wasn't Crunch. It was a different version of Crunch. It's called Athletic Society. And then there's another gym down the street. Guess how many counts they that both those gyms had next to our next to my gym? Like nothing. The gym up the street had one count. The gym down the street had eight counts. Guess how many our gym had? How many? Forty four. So why, why were they fucking with you? Social media. Because every day they're like they would they can just go on my thing and be like he's posting stories again and show up he's posting stories again and show up, but that was the thing that is like okay now this is this is impartial treatment you can't just attack someone because you're trying to stop something right the spread of COVID that's your that's the public health intent right so you go to this person because you see oh he's on social media posting but that gym is open just as much as the other one and they're driving past those gyms to get to my gym so. It's like, you're telling me you're trying to protect people, but what about the other gyms you know are open? You're not visiting just because you're not seeing this. What but even though say? I can go on what my What would they social, say to that? Oh, well, no one called. I'm like, all right, well, if you know they're already been open, and I can, I can go like this. I can go on my Instagram and go to location and be like, look, there's stories of people doing it. They just don't have millions of followers. Are you still not going to, oh, yeah, we're going to have to look into that. Like, there was no rhyme or reason to what they were doing. It was, it was as simple as, They were like, just showing up because they had to, right? Like you said? Or well, what they do you were, think? They you think they up? actually, did they actually no. care and they wanted to shut you down? I think they really wanted to shut me down. Yeah. But I think it was the more The people about, showing up? No. No. The people ne- showing up could never actually shut it down, but they wanted to. I mean, there's yeah. just health department officials who were just showing up. But I think they were attacking me because of social media presence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the interesting thing because in the same exact county, LA, right? <laughs> content creation was considered essential like to make entertainment right it's like pornography indoors no mass was considered essential in the same county but the gym is not considered essential pornography was considered yeah or or shooting content like if i said hey i'm shooting this content and i'm inside and we're just filming content you guys are good but it's like that's also the same reason why you guys were attacking me because i was shooting content you just saw it and you came to attack me and now they're giving up that's what it seems like now, now it seems like Damn, we're, we're getting to the end of the time. line. It's like we're having more conversation about like, you know, getting rid of the case. It just, and none of it felt right to me. What are, like, what are they trying to do right now? They're trying to shut it down, fine you. There's nothing going on right now. <laughs> Since I've been going to court, they haven't, they haven't showed up to the gym. Yeah. I mean, is, it, not, is it still a rule right now? No, or is it, is no, it gone now? No, it's gone They now. lifted it, right? Yeah. Dude. Like, I don't really think it's about like a local politician or like, some, like they can make no, small I changes within so. the community, but like. Dude, this world's run by fucking money. Like, if you yeah. don't see that and you don't realize that, like, that's definitely the thing. Level and that's shit. the thing that I don't like is like, the, it just seems like people just argue about like, kind of things that they, they're serious, but it's not as like serious as like what's really going on. And so I kind of get to the point where I'm like, damn, what do you do then? You just like, you got to kind of just focus on yourself. And it, the, I think what people do nowadays, which is really detrimental, is they argue about everything. It's like, all right, there's certain things like you are straight up like you're just not gonna change. You're not going to make someone's relationship or need or feel like they need to hold money in a certain way. You're not going to tell them, hey, don't don't want money or don't want control. So you have to go, okay, that's the truth. I need to focus on what I can do for myself, how I can make myself better in my life right now. You find yourself in situations. I find myself in situations where it's like, you know, maybe because of my potential, like the potential I saw of something, like I was the hope that I got into a situation that was like, fuck, this didn't work out the, the way I wanted to because maybe I didn't give it enough time to learn enough about it for it to be what it what I really wanted it to be, you know? And that's very common because then, and then those people like nor like that person might blame other people in the situation for their circumstance, but it's like, all right, you also got there. There's also things you could have done differently to not be in that situation. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about the the Dave Chappelle shit? Okay, my take on this. I didn't watch it though. I watched Did it. you watch it? I watched is it, it bad? I don't I, here, this is the thing, right? This is how it's so PC, right? I can't I gotta say watch it. because I'm not in that community, right? I'm not transgender. I can't speak for those people. By no means. Um, and I, so it didn't seem too bad to me, right? That's my perspective. The other side of this is if we're talking about jokes, right? And if someone says, you can't joke about me, doesn't that make, you know, let's say me, like if I'm saying, Gil, you can't joke about me. Like, let's say I'm a white, white person. Don't make jokes about me. Doesn't it, it makes that topic more taboo now because you're avoiding something, right? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like a job as a comedian is to like bring to light or have conversation or start conversation about something that is, is definitely relevant. 
and that people should discuss more, talk about more, be, be more aware of. And it seems as if like, if you can't even bring up things like that, cause the, you know, this, this group is saying, don't talk about us like that, or don't do this. It's like, well, where, like, isn't that the comedy is like kind of the last place that those things can exist, exist that people can start to yeah, discuss. I feel like people at the comedy club. Yeah. They just want to have a good time and stuff, but yeah. the outside world, but you see what I'm saying? Like yeah, to, to say you can't joke about us. Doesn't that make you, make you make more you taboo? Wanna, yeah. yeah. And almost like more hidden. Makes like, you want to rip into you more. Yeah. Or, or just like, the whole point is to to make this more uh, people more aware of you know these communities. Yeah, to big people to think about them. I don't think it's like to tear them down, because like now how many more people know about the community than maybe they never knew about it before because they saw all this drama. I didn't watch all of it, but uh, I was at the point where he talked about Bruce Jenner and the Woman of the Year stuff. But like, yeah, a lot of people were, were really upset. Like people were DMing me about it too. Like they were messaging you about it. Yeah, like I, like what were they saying to you? About it? They were just like, "Yo, like the non non binary jokes are, are the best." It's jokes, because man. of the comedian stuff and Fuck. how I wanted you stand up. So funny. That's why people are like hitting me up about yeah, it. It's just yeah. a so, joke. Like people take it so it, yeah, seriously. it's a joke. Anything it's, it's with that, literally it's literally a like, joke. I I love what he was so saying. Mad, like, he was saying but comedy's like they joke about everyone. Comedians joke about everyone. Everyone. That's the point of comedy. I think it's to bring to light things and for people to have conversation about things. Things. I don't, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how people on that side really, really think about it. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, maybe they're just really, really it. genuinely hurt. Yeah. So, I mean, like Tim Dillon, he says some savage shit. Yeah. Too. I mean, there's certain comedians it's that just funny. say whatever the fuck they want. But I, when I watched, like, it, he says shit even that I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. I didn't feel that way when I watched Dave Chappelle's thing. I, didn't I wasn't feel that like, way holy at all fuck. Too. I was just like, it's almost like he was. I don't know. He had his own personal experience, like with a friend that you know passed. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it didn't seem like out of hatred. It didn't seem like he it. was I like see a, it tonight. Yeah, you should watch it. It's, it was pretty cool. It was funny. I wonder how he feels about it. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's well, probably yeah, like, whatever. He, didn't he, he say really, like, like uses Graham and shit? So what has he like been saying? Well, he said something like, "He's like, if this is what being canceled is like, then like I love it." He's like, "Fuck all these networks, fuck all these whatever." He's like, "I'm I'm talking to you guys." Like he kind of he kind of meant it like. Let's talk about it. Because, you know, everyone's, you know, they spin it and they put it however they want in the headlines of, like, making him look like a bad guy or whatever. But I don't think, I don't know. Never met the guy. He's a cool guy. I'm pretty sure he's, like, a Have really, met really him? cool guy. Never met him. Yeah. But, yeah, you could tell I'm he's surprised Netflix got their hands in that. Uh-huh. Yeah, like Netflix being also like says, how politically correct this is, like, how did they let that go? Yeah, because Netflix is pretty known for being pretty, pretty PC, no? I would, I mean, I don't know. I thought so. And then yeah. they, they said, they, they also made a statement saying, we're not taking it down. Straight up, yeah. They they're they're they definitely getting respected. They made a statement saying we're not taking yeah. this down. And then like they talk I, I about thought people. The guy was backing down now though. I don't know though. Well, they said that people were going to walk out. Um, the, the headquarters. I don't know too much about it. I just know that like it's co- like is comedy not safe anymore? Can we not definitely say anything? Not. It's fucked. There's not a lot of fun. It's like what? Like at some point, like are Netflix. we just going to take away everything? Like, anyone could talk about anything. It's I think, like where do we go from there? I think it was definitely more of a win for Netflix to do that though, for sure. Like keeping to stand the, up if they yeah, can if they can up. keep it up yeah yeah I mean I think they've gone like Instagram's just fucking that ship has sailed our full send page got deleted yeah. really got yeah, deleted yeah, the first time for like copyright shit which is fine and then we got it back and we said yo we're not posting anything on copyright because like people just kept reporting the page and flagging us so we just started posting like news stories. I saw that. That and was like, amazing. That's when I yeah. was like, yo, this is and sick. it was pop and it was getting like 150k likes a photo. Like yeah. Hello comments. That. This was around, um, I think, when the Afghanistan stuff was happening. Yeah. I was watching a lot yeah, of that those. Shit was So we were posting a lot about that page. shit, and then Instagram just deleted it again. Which and is, we're like, what the fuck? And what? they literally said, it's like, they're like, yeah, it's not coming back. Even with, like, John and Sam's connections, like. Damn. They're like, it's not coming back. God. Like, you guys broke through, like, made some bullshit rule. It's it's wild, though, because it's like certain people. Yo, so one time I posted a picture. This was like the same thing as news stuff. I posted a picture. You know, like when the, I think it was like what the insurrection, when the people went to the White House? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And the Capital guy had Hill? horn. The guy had horns on. Uh-huh, you yeah, you tossed horns on, didn't you? No, 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 no. I, just, I saw, didn't you no, take a photo? I know. I post the photo oh. of the guy with horns because I was getting DM'd so many times. People were like, yo, is this you? Is this you? Is this you? Yeah. And they were showing me pictures of that. I do I remember like, that. I posted the photo on my Instagram and it, the caption was literally like, this is not me. Mm-hmm. Straight up, like stop asking. I post. I made. You were laughing when you posted it, though. Bro, sure. I know you. You're I was, I was, like this and shit. I was laughing only because, like, I got messages so the many finger. times. I literally Brad posted. Teams when he posts in the gym. He's yeah, like, you're. Oh, I got, yeah, a, I got a banger. I'm about to yeah. post right now. So I posted. I said, "This is not me," and it blew up. 
it was, and everyone was laughing. Like, it was funny. Like, I just thought it was funny. It's not me. Also, I was getting so many messages. And they took it down for, like, inciting violence. And I was, like, literally, like, wait, this, I literally posted and said, this is not me. <laughs> and, and this is the thing that got That's me. such a bad Joe post. Rogan posts the same it. exact photo, and it's still up. I'm like, where, like, how are they? You love trolling people on the internet, though. Eh? What do you mean? <laughs> like, it's funny. Like, <laughs> I know doing? the type of shit you love to post. I'm on that Twitter. fucking box jump video, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like when you it's do so that. It's so funny, that bro. That fun. I watched that the other day, and I was like, this motherfucker, bro. Because <laughs> like, I just know how you're thinking. You're like, yo, this is going to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's That funny. got posted everywhere. Yeah, it did. It's super viral. Because obviously, like, you know how watch time works. And, like, yeah. You know, people oh, are yeah. waiting for the jump, and they're watching the whole time. And the best part, when I first posted that video in the box jump, People in the comments were arguing, were like, yo, did you see it? And so they added to that, because I, cause I didn't actually jump. That's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I got a clip of me at the top, and I got a clip of me waiting to jump the whole time. So the clip of me at the top was the thumbnail. So people were fucking with each other and being like, yo, I saw it. Like, did you see it? Yo, that was crazy. So everyone was like, was it real? Was it fake? So they're waiting the whole time watching it, and then everyone's arguing in the comment sections like, yo, just make sure you like watch it to this point. Like, you'll see it. It's crazy. You like you love that shit. That was huh? hilarious because they were was, trolling each other. What was your come up on like YouTube like? Because I one thing I always say too is you are one of the guys I know out of everyone that like you know social media to if like you get it. Yeah, like you get it. That's one of your best. Like you say it too. There's a lot of guys in the gym industry too, right? But they For like sure. suck at making content. Like you have both. Like you have what they have, and you're yeah. like you know your social media shit like crazy, right? Like me yeah. and you always used to go back and like. Of course, yeah. Like you're you genius at this shit too. No, I know, but like you're one of the people I see eye to eye with when it comes to like, and Salim. Yeah. Like Instagram and like no, it's a tough skill to know what's gonna pop. Yeah. Right. Like you don't know many people like that either, right? No, there's not many. It, I mean, it just has to do with like uh, trying to understand people and trying to understand how people would react, and then yep. also like based in a certain industry. If I know I've gone to the gym for 17 years and I can relate to, you know, some something within the gym and like making it kind of funny, like of course I would. I would post something like that that I'd be like, oh, everyone's going to know what this is like. You know, like trying to get a bench on Monday, right? If you can make a joke around that, everyone can relate to that because like people know what it's like showing up to a commercial gym on Monday and not being able to get a fucking bench because everyone hits chest. So making stuff around things that you know are relatable depending on like what industry you're in, you're in is, is like, I think is essential. And if you could understand that and identify it, and then also just like, I think the genuineness and just being yourself is also really important on the internet because a lot of people do things like work out and they just show people how like I work out, I work out, look at this workout, look at this workout. And there's not enough like, this is who I am as a person though. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think that's the thing you've, you guys have done a really good job. Like you do the pranks. Yes. But the way you've included like vlog bits in also your channel and the pranks, like, yeah, you get your fans would be like, make more pranks. That's when it, that's when it really started to pop. I yes. remember that. The big difference was when we added a little bit of vlog into the prank episode. Cause then they get to know Cause then you. it was just, dude, how many pranksters were there before? Oh my God, there were so many. There's none now. Like yeah. they're all. You guys are like the literally the last ones. There's no one else. Yeah, doing there's that. nobody else, and no one else even close to a high level. But on YouTube, remember like when YouTube pranks oh, were was, like it was viral. Vitaly, Twenty Fousey, yeah, Roman Atwood. Uh, Fousey was one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. Roman yeah. Atwood. All these people were massive. I mean, it's also they but they did it for so long. That too. shit was getting like hundred millies. Yeah, Yusef <clears throat> got a hundred mil, yeah. but fake shit. Yeah. yeah. And he was the one who helped me launch my YouTube channel in the beginning because he was super out of shape. And I met him at a uh, somebody football game. And I was like, yo, I, I want to launch a YouTube. I had like 600K on Instagram. And he's like, yo, help me get in shape and I'll help you launch a YouTube. He got me like 25,000 subscribers before I ever even had a video. Really? Crazy. When yeah. he was popping, popping. Popping. I put me in two of his videos, 25,000 subscribers, zero videos. Wow. But I had some stuff already on Instagram. But yeah, nothing on YouTube. But he was he was the man on YouTube for a minute. But you're right. It's like... Uh, the, this whole thing the, when you started including the vlog stuff I, I could tell I mean that's when people get to really know you as like you know like almost like they feel like they're your boys YouTube was bigger before bro way they, bigger they got Roman out in them it could be yeah. so much like bigger too I feel yeah like, I don't I don't know what they're doing I don't know what they're doing they're making it more difficult they, it's like feels like every year they make it more and more difficult to it used to be so simple too they just you need know, like, a, they need to have more cool so shit on YouTube I think but that's the thing is like so obviously it comes from like what what's the cool shit, right? Like they're, they're so battling. They're with just like, so fucking, they're sold to the advertisers. Yeah. So like, like that's the thing people don't get to. It's like, I get where YouTube's coming from. Cause it's a fucking yeah, business. It's like Kleenex walks in and says, yo, here's a fucking hundred mil. But yeah. if I see this type of content, I'm out. 
I'm take like we're yeah. not fucking advertising. So YouTube's like they're literally loyal to the advertisers. So yeah. they have to pe- fuck people like yeah, us. Yeah, because this is what happens. Otherwise, they lose their hundred mil. Yeah, and then you, we got to figure out different ways to succeed on like the actual platform. But th- I think what happened years ago. Remember when it was like family channels like popped off? Mm-hmm. That was like when like they started like just hiding all the stuff that was you know, or not putting ads or like not showing that content of stuff that was just considered more inappropriate or not family friendly, which would be like all of our content, like swearing and fucking off and having fun, whatever. Right. It, I think it was because there was like some, some ads from like Coca-Cola or like a big company was on like some fucked up videos that they were like, what the fuck? Someone, some like scarce or some shit back in the day, I think made a video saying like, yo, Coca-Cola is like, has an advertisement on like some like Nazi video or some shit. There you go. So they, it was like one of, one of our own though, made that happen. Was like, look at this video. Coca-Cola supports Nazis. So it's scarce? Scarce. We gotta fuck him up. We gotta find that motherfucker. Where we gotta is he pull now? up on scarce. But what I, from what I know, no, is he's that, a good guy. I don't even know him. I don't even know him. I just know like, I've heard this story and I, I think I might've even seen that video. And, and then right after that, it was like this huge pullback and then all the kind of like, non-family friendly content just started to like just plummet in views and everything and then like i think this is right the same exact time when austin mcbroom blew up and all these other family channels blew up because it was family friendly and like i don't even blame them like you said it's like that makes sense they want to they have to protect themselves like if someone's saying like yo like you said a hundred million dollar company is like we're taking all our money away from you unless you fix your system it's like you have to kind of that's why people ask me now too like I feel bad. They're like, yo, how would you start as a YouTuber like right now? Yeah, that's like tough from the right break. Now, I'm like, man. that must be dude, so it's hard. So for much people. harder now. Everything so much is so harder. much harder. Like no one's like really subscribing to someone's channel no more. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people are making new YouTube accounts. Yeah. Like, cause there's no real reason to have an account. Like they don't yeah. really push the subscriber box. No, no bro, more. that was the thing at the same time when this you used happened, to be able to message people on YouTube. Bro, why don't they add that back? I, I don't know. Like I could see someone that comments with a funny comment and literally like click their profile and I message them. I could like, I could fly them out to our house from YouTube. Yeah, like right now, one dope. thing we always have to do now is like, you're, it's so stupid because on YouTube, you're like, go DM, DM me on Instagram. Yeah, you gotta go find me on Instagram so I can talk to you. But like even- You used to be able to message. You used to be able to message and then even around the same time when they like this whole uh, apocalypse with the ads and all like the family friendly, whatever thing, they also made it so like everyone had to start over. If you were a YouTuber, remember when they included the bell? Yeah, don't yeah. they still have that? No, so they ha- everyone has the bell now. But do you, prior to that, you had subscribers, and they kind of just got your notifications. They got most of your notifications, and then it was like YouTube, like one day just updated and was like, you have to hit this bell now, and then it's almost like made everyone start from zero again because like all your subscribers who didn't hit that bell now just weren't getting notifications. So you had to make videos like every day, be like, make sure you hit the bell, make sure you hit the bell, make sure you hit the bell, because that's how they actually got like I don't they know, they moved people. more from the sub box to like the homepage feed. Yeah. Yeah. Which your sub box is kind of like, I don't really know what it does, right? I guess if you're subscribed, it just pushes it on your main yeah, feed Yeah, well, back more. in the day, like, you would subscribe to someone, and as soon as they post a video, you'd get a notification. You'd really only see your subs before, I think, like, a yeah. long time ago. Now you when see you're a bunch watching of stuff people. recommended and stuff, which which helps if you're in, like, the, the crowd. Yeah. You know, like, if we film videos together, then my videos will show up to other people, even if they're not subscribed, if they're your fans, because we're, like, related in, like, the ecosystem of YouTube. But that's why it's also much harder now to grow. That's why I think it's so good, too, to to work in a group setting. Absolutely. It's essential. I mean, I know, like, they credit that, like, like even David Dobrik's crew, what they did. Like, you have a huge group, and it's all just, like, you're watching this person on this day, and then yeah. this day, and then it's just, like, they're constantly connected through everyone's channels, and you're all, yeah. like... I think it's essential working. now. I think that's is YouTube that's a big way to start, I would say. What's that? Is YouTube not recommending, like, say if we did a video, right? Would they not recommend your video if it's like... No, they would. No, they bad. would be, because we've done enough content together. We've been in, like, titles and, like, you know... Yeah. We've been enough content that, like, they would recommend the content. But if you're, just like, a brand new person starting, you're, you're like, distance somewhere... I don't know how the algorithms work. I'm not a fucking, you know, computer guy like that. But I'm assuming the distance from, like you your content like the nelk boys and them is probably really far away from each other like you've never actually engaged with their channel or their page or done a video with them or actually been in a video because i think it it tracks all that kind of shit i you know what i think the only way to do it is you got to make really shareable shit because yeah yeah, how can you just insert into the algorithm as a new person no subs no views yeah how can you just get views unless someone shares your video to someone else yeah and says yo like they text the link to them or something like you got to make shareable shit yeah you can't dick around and do boys yo you got to see this it's hilarious things are not really going viral nowadays no there's not a lot of things that are going viral. Man, it used to be a on lot. TikTok, I guess, right? TikTok yeah. for sure. Yeah, TikTok's like the final is that frontier. all real views? I have no idea. 
Yeah, it's like the 90 final million, frontier. 100 million. That's crazy. You've been banging on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I love TikTok. And and I was so resistant to being on TikTok. But then once I started spending more time, I was like, wait, I fucking love this app. But you're right. Like, I don't know how, how well does it convert. I don't know yet. I haven't seen like a really huge difference in conversion. But I have seen some people who have blown up on TikTok and it does convert directly to Instagram. Like they have tons of followers I feel and like engagement. It's, yeah. Do you think it's been helping you? I think so. Because that's I, one thing I know. I like, I look at like some kids that like get crazy numbers on TikTok and then I'll go to their Instagram and it's even like, I know it was going to be way lower, but it's even like lower than I fucking thought it would really? be. Like I'm shocked you at how- You haven't seen others that have like a ton of engagement though? No. Well, I, besides I like the, that. like the TikTok, like the girls and the guys. Yeah, the oh, girls yeah. for like, sure are still fucking, good, but I haven't been seeing any like on the other guys, like TikToks and stuff. You like conversion from Conversion, TikTok no to... conversion, man. It's like- Interesting. And the, and the views are getting lower and lower each time they post as well on TikTok. Yeah. Is what I'm seeing. Like it, it was, it's definitely not the same anymore. Like it was probably like a year ago, but yeah, it's like totally, it's crazy. Like I have not seen a lot of virals on I TikTok. The, as I much. think the biggest thing with all these apps now is like you have to be really consistent in posting. So consistent. Like well, these guys, the cheeky, I say, I seen some of these guys bros, videos. Yeah. Yeah. They have some like good ideas. I saw the lobster one. I they seen, like return. I've seen some of their stuff. I haven't seen that one. They like, uh, they order a lobster and then switch it with a real lobster. Like a live one. Yeah. It's pretty jokes. So we like, tried it and we didn't even like use it because it wasn't good. But on Instagram, on TikTok, they got Instagram. They have one twenty. TikTok, they have ten point six. Yeah, mil. see, it's not one hundred twenty k followers, and they have ten point six mil. On yeah, TikTok. so that's fucking crazy. Yeah, they should, but I guess they're making mil. money like on TikTok. Like I feel yeah. like for it to be like, yeah, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm so I got to figure out TikTok. Yeah, it's still, the move. I'm still figuring but it out. I just feel like if you do TikTok, you don't adjust your content like for tiktok like you got to make the same shit like i think i think the app's becoming like a real na app now is what i'm saying yes yeah 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 definitely and it doesn't I mean, mean you have to switch your content on like you know like instagram and tiktok can be kind of similar you think you just if they go to instagram they could just post their tiktoks there no no i mean like the type of content you make on instagram versus tiktok for us would be like kind of similar. yeah you got to make inst if you're going to make a video on instagram it has to be for instagram like like YouTube is like totally different, you know what I mean? But I agree. The simple Sorry, stuff, yeah, that's how we think. Like yeah. one thing's like a YouTube video, yes, for us, and then obviously one's like an Instagram. I agree. I don't think it just you just go what you post here, you should just post here. I don't think so. What's crazy what is like saying. some that we get off YouTube, like off the 4K camera or whatever. Say for instance, if we put that on Instagram, it wouldn't do as good as a phone video. Well, yeah, you know what there's I mean? something I don't know if it's like it's it's, it's a raw all, app. Yeah, it's a raw app, and it's very simple. Like you have to have it at like. I like to keep my videos if I'm posting some on Instagram like 30 seconds, 35 seconds. Yeah. Because like it's it's quick, you know what I mean? But, Salim taught me a lot about Instagram too. But like for like say for instance like you know how you posted that jump, right? And yes. you didn't even jump. Like the waiting of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But for Instagram for the pranks and stuff, you have to like it has to come from a snap. You got to get like, it in there quick. You got to get their attention like right away. Right. Visual too. I feel Very like a lot visual. of people don't watch with sound. Yeah. No one like, Yeah, really yeah, that's, that's actually crazy. All, all the visual ones, bro, it's got to be like even I'm learning now too like Three seconds in visual. Yes. Like, yeah, that's boom, really they got to see something right away. Same the way on Facebook, the way it works. And obviously like, TikTok, that's definitely true. I yeah. really started learning that when I was doing the moaning videos and stuff. Like, just having, like, right away, like, I'm on someone's fucking ear. They're going to be like, what the hell is that guy's doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, that's, that's the thing way, that yeah. really snapped. Like, it's, it's just a visual. Yeah, it's visual. Yeah, you blew up. Like, you blew yeah, the fuck It's very visual, and it was very awkward and some for people to watch and wait to see the, ha see the reaction. I mean? Like, see what happens, you know, because yeah. there's a lot of people that are like— Instagram's yeah. fun, bro. Instagram's yeah. fun, yeah. I'm really my, starting love, to like Instagram again now. We got to snap on Instagram. Because it's so fun. The funnest thing, too, is like we used to do is like you just go out, shoot a clip, and then possibly in the same day, like— go edit it and then post it in the oh, same the day. Oh, the greatest feeling yeah. ever. That's the best thing. And I it just love that bangs. Shit. Like, it just goes like... Yo, you guys got a bunch of backlash for the ice thing. Yeah. yeah. I saw that on what'd Twitter. You, I was like, wait a minute. What'd why you think I, of it? I was like, why the fuck am I getting tagged in this? That's what I was thinking about it. Straight up. I was like, bro, why are they getting... Like, they're telling me I'm wrong for this. I'm like, wait a minute. Because I'm on Twitter. Like, what the that fuck? That was your idea, though. I wasn't even there, bro. You did tell me that idea. I never told you that idea. That was fucked. That was, yeah, people were really upset about yeah, that. Yeah, because you... Really, really. You think upset, it was too man. far? I was crazy. I mean, the the thing that everyone's perspective is like, oh, because ICE is like taking and like splitting people's families and shit, you know. But yeah. it's like that that wasn't obviously what the joke was about. It was you know about, what I realized too? 
we didn't show, show the, the beer. beers. I was just thinking that like too, if you yeah. watch the video and even on drama alert. So if it just looks like we're just doing a fake ice prank yeah. because I guess we kind of didn't notice we didn't actually show the beer. So especially if you're watching with no sound, you never see a beer. All you see is immigrants and then ice the truck ice. pulling up. And even on drama alert, they posted it and all the caption didn't have beer in the caption. So it literally just says, did Nelk go too far? Yeah, fake ice so you, prank. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't see beer and you barely, if you're watching without sound, you don't hear it. Too. Dude, that was so really funny. So it actually funny. does look kind of fucked. Yeah, the visual got you guys. No, like, like if they, yeah. If it, like, were to it see takes the out like half of the joke, which is like, oh, it's kind of stupid now. Like they yeah. just did a fake ice That prank. was funny though. You thought it was funny. We should have like slammed beers with them after or some shit. And yeah. People would have got good. it more. It was yeah. funny though, right? You liked it. I mean, bro, yeah, it was, wasn't bad. Everyone in our office and we have some fucking like poor politically correct like people that we like not you know but i'm the most over here and then some people are like back here yeah and even they were like yo it's not bad and shit yeah it just yeah i guess the way people just but that's the thing is like it's just they can't joke about anything yeah what's crazy what you said too i showed a friend that video as well and uh i didn't explain to him that we were having beers well you said beers in the thing though yeah, but, like, he was just watching, like, you know how just sometimes people just watch, just watch like, it's so visual seeing an yeah. ice truck and then immigrants. You got to you know make it mean? simple for them, too. Like, they're not looking, like, at every detail. Yeah, like, they're not kinda, looking at every detail. We didn't yeah. really make it obvious. Like, and we should have like, fucking. Yeah, the person I showed was like, wait, so, like, wait, what did you do? Like, why were you scaring them? Like, That's and I was like, no, 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 like, beer. Like, we were like, did you not just hear me? Like, they're watching it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's more of a watch than listen. That's what's crazy. Yeah, they were going in on you guys. Oh, on crazy! And I didn't they just even threw notice my it. tag in there too. I was like, "What the fuck yeah. is going on?" Here? I didn't notice it until um we until put in the uh, in the comments written by Bradley. Yeah, Martin. okay, fuck you. No, You're gonna get a writer you. credit on IMDb. Fuck, no, that was or not shit. me. I would have had the beer in that bitch. I'd have been like, yeah. started with the beer. I know that went everywhere. It it's, did. You know what I feel like now though? I feel like we're not doing anything more fucked up than we haven't been doing the whole time. Well, like true. I feel yeah, like videos is. even like five really years true. ago, three years ago, You've done even two more years ago, up we've done back more then. fucked up way shit more than that. Back then. Way more fucked up. Yeah, it's great. It's just it's just more people know. Now about it's you like now. now people that don't watch us are watching us. Yeah. Like we get posted on like a Snapchat fucking Spanish Discover channel, like yeah. one of those dumb things, and they're talking about it. You know, like, Fuck the so it's like boys. people that never watch this too. So now we're becoming like we have like haters now. Yeah. Well, it's a more household. Some people just must fucking hate us. Oh, like yeah. You. Like, the like, people that comment. I could see, you know, if they hate us, they must really hate like us. Like, they, they like, want to spit in our fucking, faces, like, like, type shit. Damn. That's funny to me, though, now. Yeah. Because of how serious people take shit. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, funny to me. We got it, like. But it is new, right? Yeah. Have you ever had, like, a real hater come up to you and, like, say the things that you would see, like, in a comment Never. or anything? Really? Because, <laughs> like, that... Imagine someone doing that to Brad. I, I don't... Like, you probably react, like, just get out of here. Like, yeah, i like, like what are you talking about? But, yeah. the, dude, that... The comments now, than before, it's insane right now. People are, yeah. Like, people, people are... are people dig into your heart. Vicious. Like, very vicious. Yeah. It's ah. crazy, man. It sucks seeing that, but, like, some people are just, like... Yeah, it's just, weird because just making it, like, a, by the a way. more interesting world now. It's like, oh, people just seem to be more... I don't know, on edge about everything. Yeah. We just get so much love, like the amount of people that come up and say, I love your videos. Yeah. Like people genuinely love our videos. Yeah. So it's like, I just focus on that shit. Yeah. Like, well, this is the key. And I think just as a note for people I don't even this. care about that other shit, bro. Yeah, it's just like, as yeah. long as, as long as our fans are happy, we don't really like. This is the key. And that's, people need to know that. Like, if you want to be a content creator, because we're kind of talking about people succeed on social media and it's hard now, you have to like genuinely just be yourself and like not try to pander to everyone. You have to, you know, do it for the people who are supporting you. Because I, I fully believe this and I know this from my past and just from my experience, whether or not you try to do everything right and make everyone happy, people are still going to love and hate you. Period. Yeah. It's never going to change. And doing shit that you actually really like, like Kyle yeah. always says it, like, if I think it's really funny, like, why wouldn't we, you know what I yeah, mean? Like, well, you then you're gonna be, think it's funny. Yeah, you're going to be acting like genuine. You're going to mm -hmm. be acting, and it's going to be, you're going to enjoy it the most. Like, and because like I said, even if you acted just genuine, did a joke that you didn't like as much, people are still going to decide whether they love and hate you. Yeah. You might as well be genuine. Like, I did this. That was the this second was we, we popped off too, actually, was when we just, because like I said, going back to the prank shit, there was like this typical prank format, like, Fucking intro, like cringy yeah. intro. <laughs> oh my god! Fucking yeah. that. Um, and then like prank, and then like outro. But then when we just started doing like whatever we want, and making jokes about like beers and like, you know, just like natural what we find funny. Yeah. That's when it funny really worked. Shit. So you definitely gotta like do what you think is funny too. Yeah, because you guys have have. I mean, 
I got to say, man, it's it's probably one of the most impressive things that I've seen that you you guys have like a lot of the content that, you know, these platforms would consider, you know, it's bad, but you still have so many loyal fans that they're there no matter what. Mm -hmm. That's fucking impressive. The fact that like you make the kind of content that people are like trying to bury, but people want it so much that they go and fucking find it or they're that engaged with your content that like they know where to find it. That's fucking amazing. Like you just can't stop that. It's crazy the amount of people that say that. Like, where's the, where's the Monday video if it's, like, going people up? People love it, man. People are there to watch. Like, you don't really realize it, how cool it is, too. It's really cool. Like, yeah. it's fucking crazy. It's nuts, dude. It's insane. It's I mean, dope. We, we, bro, we had filmed stuff for, what, like, almost two years. And that was, like, a like when we first started, Where do you remember what your view? I don't even remember. They weren't what they are now. I don't know. Two, wait, since you guys were living with Brad? Maybe even before that, probably like we were on it. Yeah, there was a big jump after the. You have a did. views memory, yeah? You tell us. Yeah, it was. Um, the views were getting like two, three million. Yeah, like in a week though, but like now it's like getting like four, five in a week. Yeah, you know, that's a I, that's a really big jump. Now, like, if we don't hit three million in twenty four, yeah, like, that's that's very bad. Pissed. Yeah, fuck, it's so crazy. Yeah, the and I remember when I first jumped. met you. Yeah, in the house you were we were with Jay. Dude, you guys were so funny. I just want to tell this story. These guys have changed so yes, much. Bro. Yes, yeah, back I remember we were talking about that. I remember Salim was talking. He was living with some family. And they were like really nice, but the the kids weren't nice. They were like mean to the mom. Well, they were very. The kid took were, Salim's bitch, right? Or not? Or uh, something like that. Yeah. No, he didn't. He didn't take my right, bitch. Jay. No, what happened was like he <laughs> manipulated me into thinking that like he was basically telling her like the girl that I was trying to get at like bad things about me. Yeah, like he was bringing a, he, me down. He was a cock blocker. Yeah, cock blocker. But I don't know if he was just jealous or some shit. But like then he told her like. Or he got with her, like, within two weeks, started bringing her to the house where Damn. he lived. So, like, I can't say nothing. I'm walking into this situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Because you I'm, were, like, given that opportunity to live with these people. Yeah. And then, like, since it's his household. How did you meet them? Uh, I, yo, we stayed at, like, we were staying at fans' house just, like, where you guys were doing. And then um, they basically said, yo, you stay here for as long as you Wait, want. Like, and they were, huh? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I interrupted you. No, no. Uh, I was 17, if that's, if that's what you were asking. Okay. But, um. Yeah, when when we were living with them, um, th- just the mom was so nice, and like her husband had like passed away and like yes. like a year before, I so like I, we were just like, man, we, we loved helping her, like me and Jay. Yeah. So like I think that's what made us stay as well. But like yeah, the kids were like just totally. Were you asshole. guys were you guys both virgins at the time? Yeah, yeah, I was. You one hundred percent were. Salim was a half of it. I was a half a virgin. Yeah. So yeah, I had sex with. I love this got because a I remember. Yeah, I remember how like how adamant you were about like you're yeah. not going to get. Well, girls. I had se- I had sex with a girl from Ralph's. Uh, I met her at Ralph's, and then, <laughs> and then uh, uh he sex not with Albertsons. Girl. Ralph's. Not, but Ralph's. hold on, he didn't have sex with a girl at Ralph's. No, no, no. Okay. I, she went. She uh, worked at if Ralph's. If you fuck a girl at okay. Ralph's, you know she's like, fucking not hot, bro. You know? In the store. No, not in the no store. Banging hot girls at Ralph's. No, I just didn't know if I nutted or anything, which is very dark. It was on an air mattress. So like, okay. and then um, it was one of those pump up beds. Oh yeah, I love those. So things. it just gets worse and worse. That eh? I don't I know. Like, I guess I was just really attracted to her or attractive to her. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Like she, she, I knew she was toying me in a way. Like right. now that I look at it, I was like, man, this girl was like, she probably looked at me as like an idiot. But I think How I old was is she. She was like, uh, I think she was 22. She was 22 oh, yeah. and I was... She probably thought you were a loser, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Probably. 17. Girls just love older guys, man, I think. You know that. Uh, <laughs> no, no. No, I was, just, I was just vibing. I mean, I met her at Ralph's. I asked her um, I asked for her number. She was like, wait, do you have an Android? And I'm like, no, I don't have an Android. She's like, okay, good, because like, I have... Uh, bad taste in guys that have androids. That's what she said to me. What the I was, fuck is that? Yeah, mean? I was. I didn't even know what it meant <laughs> at the time. I was just like, just give me the number and I'm out. Like, like she did. Yeah, that's all I was. Probably good. Pictures? You didn't fuck her. Something weird would have happened. Some, yeah, probably. Yeah, that's such a weird Threatened line. The, the android thing. Shit. I don't know, man. You never know. What the fuck? But yeah, Jay was a virgin too, and then Jay <laughs> yeah. lost his virginity when uh, we came on board. Like, I remember like those four months later. Those moments, man. They're yeah, we talked about eyes. women. Now dude. Jay's a fucking. All we talked about yeah, was he's women. A, he's a stallion, this yeah. guy, man. Our fucking chef wants to fuck him, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah. she's was... like 55. Amazing. I remember that at your guys' house. We were just talking about women. Like, yeah. and you guys were just laughing. I was genuinely asking. I was like, why are they I laughing know. so much? Like, but yeah, we just had hella questions about women. Because we couldn't pump back then. Like, we were just like, fuck, yeah, man. Now like, it's how do like... you do this? But Salim would literally say, like, you were like convincing us. Yes. You're like, no, like, I'm never getting a girl. 100%. And we're like, yes, thinking. you are. Like, relax. You're yeah. like, nah, man. Like, I'm never getting I was a girl. Thinking, now, I'm with, now I'm with a really, really cool 
cool girl. Yeah. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for sure. It's a great, great thing. But see, remember how it's just changed? Like, you were dead. What he's saying is so true. You were so convinced. I was like, it's not about personality, it's about looks. And I was looking at myself, I was like, damn, I, I'm not that attractive, you know? I'm not. <laughs> that's like, what hey, I was I'm thinking. ugly, dog. I, I was thinking, like, maybe I look good, but, like, not that good. Like, that's what I was thinking. And then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but you're funny as fuck. That you doesn't come into play. Right now, that doesn't does? in the club. No, bro, that's no totally, in the it totally club. matters. In the club, no. <laughs> totally matters. You trying to tell a joke in the club? Yo, hey, it's loud you can't even fuck. plan that. Like yeah. so, in dude, the club, it's ugly dude. Man. In the club, it's all about face value. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love, I Yo, love Jay. When you here. get these guys going about girls, it's so funny. Bro. No, it is face value in the club, though. You can't lie about that. <laughs> All you, I, you just look like they're looking at you, and you're like, "I'm hey, here." This is what like, you get. I can't, I'm not saying nothing because I don't want it to sound stupid. That's what I was thinking in the club. At least you can like dance in the club, though. Like dancing, yeah. Me I'm and just Jay, like fucking useless in those situations. I love yeah, to yeah. dance. When the dancing comes into play, bro, I'm just I'm fucking lost. Bro. Yeah, I just stand like, around too. Me, yeah. me and Kyle do the same. I like Who's to dance. I like to just show out. Like it, yeah. I mean, I'm not just gonna stand and look ugly. That's what I'm thinking. So. <laughs> you gotta move so they you gotta they move can't be sure. so they can see <laughs> like, something. I'm not at least. sure if he's ugly or not because he's moving. Hopefully they see it, but you, oh most of the time not. But it's fun. It's fun to dance. Uh, I'm proud of you, man. Is that is that guy still with that girl? No, no. So, yeah, we went you to- You got to go rob her. Yo, I got to tell you this. So, we went to a party about, like, six months ago, right? Uh, that church. It was a church party. Oh, we shit. seen her at the church party. Oh, yeah? And and what's crazy is, like, she was talking to me, right? And I was like, okay, uh, I got to go. And then I pass her later, and she grabs my shoulder, like, Salim, wait. Like, let's talk. And then I'm, like, walking because we had to leave. So, like, I asked her- that 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 day that night uh are you still with him and she's like no fuck that guy like i, I fucking hate him this this that like <laughs> oh and i'm like shit like it was, <laughs> Yo, shit, what's good this no this was yeah this was about like six or seven months ago yeah it was about okay. six or seven months ago and i was like i i just still didn't think i could get her like at that moment so like you have regret now uh right now like no in general uh like no you, i don't follow uh, her on instagram or anything but um yeah, bro. She she literally said everything that we were thinking when we first met that guy, like how yeah. he was. Like he was like an actor, bro, and he was an actor. But like, wait, was he like a real actor? He was talking? a real actor. Oh, okay, like in real but life. He, like, but like in real life, real life, he was like two faced. It was crazy. Like, no, the way he, he wasn't actually in movies, dude. We would clean up the house, and like he would say, "Oh, I helped," like to his mom, and we're oh, like, "What the fuck?" Like, into shit. But yeah, for we real. Seen yeah, man, it was crazy. Yeah, Jay would tell to you. his own mom though. He would be like, "Yeah, I helped." Like they didn't see me, but like I was up raking up there. Like I was raking the leaves. Were they and rich? Shit. Huh? Oh yeah, but they lost. They kind of lost all that when he passed away because he was like a really big photographer. And oh, then, um, yeah, so like that. That was what was sad. Like just trying to help her. Like we were just trying to help her as much as possible. Not for the kids because they were just dicks to us, but just for her. Yeah, because she lost her husband and yeah. she's struggling. You know. But yeah, I mean. We what did they What her? did they make you guys do to stay there? Yeah, like, didn't did they, they like, ever try to, like, to make Jay Piper? Shit? No, they weren't saying like, "Yo, what?" We, we were just doing it because she was she just needed help. But like, not nah, she. He wanted us out of that house because she really loved us. I, I I don't know. It was just it was a weird weird vibe. That's very strange. It was a weird vibe. But we weren't there. The most son of the wanted time. you guys out of the house because like he the could tell the mom son. liked you guys. Yeah, very weird. And we were just like. I guess we were just bringing them closer to a family because they used to have arguments about that and shit. Like, we would hear that while we were, like, about to go to bed. So, I don't know. We were just all about vibes, and I guess he just didn't like that. Oh, yeah. It's all resolved now. We we visited her and everything. <laughs> we, we just we talked about it. We were like, okay, like, everything's good. Like, we're all doing good. Like, my bad this, my bad that. You know what I mean? With the mom, everything. But yeah. we're good now. We're good it's now. It's good. Yeah. Jay, did you ever try to wheel her? Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Jay wanted to fuck the mom? He did. She she was feeling him. So Ooh, she actually I like lied. it. She was. Is that one on or not? Did you try? She was. She was vulnerable in that situation. Come, cuz. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I want to hear about this story. So, did you, so you tried to with the mom? No, not at all. No, no, no. She was trying on him. He he would tell us like sometimes he'd be joking though. Like ah, uh, she filmed me this that. But there were situations where like that's pretty weird. Uh, she would. She would always I'm into, call. I, no, I am into milk. That's though. the thing. She would always call yeah. him to her her room. I'm a milk yeah, lover. She would always call him to her room. Like Jake, I talk to you. Come to my room. 
They come like, rub my him. back. Like usually we're like him? J- we usually we're a pack. <laughs> you dog. You dog. We're usually a pack in You're their fine. eyes, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like yeah. Jay Slim, let's go. Come on, yeah. You know what I mean? But it, sometimes it would be like at night like, "Yo yeah. Jay, let me talk to you." Like come to my room and shit and like it was oh, across the Jay. hall. It was just I don't know, man. Maybe he just can't fuck. You got like, a sneaky lady, you don't milfs. even know. Yeah. No, I'm just ever? I'm like honestly like the silent assassin. I don't say much. Mm. My energy is like You learn that. You from can me. feel my energy in the room. I did I did learn it from you. Yeah. I did. I love it. You, like, you just gotta man? just be quiet, be humble, and just be silent a silent assassin. Person. Silent assassin. Have you ever been with a milf? Um, kids, no, but like older women, yeah. Was it was it a good experience? Was it kind of like what you thought it would be? Oh, it was a great, great experience. I feel like Jay would play with like some little kids. Well, yeah, like, for sure. Oh, come yeah. out, like, he like, would love that. I feel like. Yeah, it's stepdaddy season. Apparently, yeah. And right Bernie Renner's eye. Right now, it's stepdaddy. So wait, you almost pounded the mom or what? No, I heard it from Brittany, that girl, Brittany Taylor. She said it's stepdaddy season, so. Brittany, that's the girl who got the basketball player's kid, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. When yeah. you guys get these two started on, like, women and, like, betrayal and shit, like, <laughs> they don't shut up about it. Man. I mean, like, do you talk about P.J. Washington every day or what? Uh, wait, like, wait, when that just... shit went viral, yeah, I huh? did, for sure. Wait, you've been talking about this before? You've been talking... All the time. It's very interesting. You we gotta... talk about girls 24-7. No, but... 24... These two talk about chicks all no, the we, time. No, we talk about, like, when, like, situations like uh, like a PJ Washington happens. We like to, like, really dive in and be dive like, in. why the hell did this girl do this? We'll dive this in right now. Really yeah, yeah, that's, that's, those, are the, those are the things we talk about. Okay. We talk about that shit. What are you trying to figure out? Like, why do you talk so much about it? Because basically he was Just, like, it's like, it's like you guys are heartbroken. Like, could you too. be, could you be that evil romantic. to do that to another person? Like, take his kid away and get, like, you know, child support from She's it taking 200 month? grand a month. 200 grand a month. And you're not letting the man. man see his son? Like, I wonder, I wonder, is that really happening? Like, well, is, yeah, I don't know. Is it really happening? Yeah, it is. I don't know. Yeah, it well, is. We don't know if he cheated on her or, or whatever, but. Regardless, she's taking all his money. Well, yeah, for no, but don't you think like for for a girl to do that, right? I like to really look at that and be like, wow, like what are the situations? Yeah, There's some psycho them. broads. Wow, which yeah. is crazy. And there is some psychos. On Instagram is crazy. I know she's trolling like probably like sixty or seventy percent. Yeah, but like, damn, man, this guy's hurting. Like, I I don't know what. Yes. Like, what else can you do? You know? What's your crazy experience with the with the woman? Like. Oh, do you have any crazy experiences? Craziest experience? Yes. Um, how old are you? I'm 21. Okay. Yeah, it was when I was 22, I think. And it, I didn't actually, I didn't actually, okay, I don't want to say it. I don't want to ruin the story. But anyways, um, I used to train this girl who was my girlfriend at the time. And I would go to this Equinox in Beverly Hills. Okay, so Beverly Hills like right near Rodale Drive, you know where the Equinox is over there. If you have any reference of it, that's where it is. It's right near the flats in Beverly Hills. And a bunch, basically, if you, the flats in Beverly Hills is like a very, like you have to be super rich to live there, right? These big houses, it's just, it's super close to uh, Wilshire, Rodale Drive. It's like a, just a really expensive area. And I would train this girl who's my girlfriend all the time. And um, this guy would talk to me every once in a while. He would come up, he'd see me training. He would talk to me like, oh, are you, you're a trainer. And do you train people at home? And I was like, and I was a struggling trainer at the time. So one day this guy goes, I want you to train my wife. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, and you, you knew it. that that's, this is where everything comes. Like the, yeah. the, the, the women. Go shit. on. What? Go you on. snatched her from him. Go on. Okay. No, no, no. You're so sneaky. No, 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 no. Let me explain this. This is going to twist on you guys here. So I think I know. You're gonna I say. go, okay. Yeah. I think, you know. I've told this story before. I don't know if I told you it. But anyways, I was like, all right, I'll train your wife. Like, yeah, I'm trying to make money. Okay. I was like struggling. So uh, he goes, I'll come over on this day and meet my wife. I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to come over. So I go over, beautiful house in the Beverly Hills Flats, huge house. And I'm, I'm like walking around the house and like I see the kids. Like, oh, these are my, this is like a kid. He had like a younger kid. It was like six, one that was like 12. Here's my kids. I'm like, Hi. I'm in the kitchen. Someone's cooking. They have a chef. And then um, the guy's talking to me and he's like, sometimes I'm gone. I need my wife to be taken care of. How old were they? You see a cut? You were happy, guy? huh? Hold you on, were happy hold on. right there. We're getting there. The kids? Or how no, old the, were they? The mom and... The dad must... He had to be in his 40s. The woman was probably like in her 30s, mid 30s. So he, he kept insinuating essentially like, I want you to sleep with my wife. Right. Because he kept wow. saying, like, I need my wife to be taken care of when I'm gone. And 
And, uh, and then he also started asking me questions, <laughs> which <laughs> one was very strange, but he's like, do you have a big dick? And I was like, okay, this is weird. Uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable answering that. And uh, he's like, oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'll just meet my wife, right? Um, <laughs> so he went from how big's your dick to, oh, meet my wife, like right away? No, there was oh. some more bullshit. He's like, yeah, yeah no. Because so, at first I was like, yo, like I'm kind of good. He's like, no, no. Just eat he some threw food. in a couple fake questions in yeah. between, eh? Yeah, it was like the lie detector thing. <laughs> yeah. No, but he like right. had me eat some food. What's your favorite I'm, color? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> how big's your blue. cock? <laughs> yeah. So it was very awkward. It didn't, it didn't go just like that. It was like one question was just how big's yeah. your cock. But it was very strange. And anyways, he was selling me on the idea to sleep with his wife. The only caveat was he wanted to watch and he was going to pay me to do it. But, and it was $8,000 and I needed that money at the time. Look at me. I needed it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm totally going to, I'm going to fuck this guy's wife and he's going to watch. It's going to be weird, but I'm going to do it. You said full sin. But when I met that woman after meeting the kids and I, and I met her and I was like, she was sitting across, I, like she was in some chair with like weird, like circle thing. I just remember this the background behind her. And he's like, it's my wife. And I shook her hand and I sat down and we're kind of sitting here like this. And she's like over there, like where Celine would be. And, and he was telling me how like, yeah, he's like, so you guys like, we can arrange something kind of like, you know, we can make it work. And I was like, I was, I was going to do it. I was hundred percent. I was going to do it. But when I saw her sitting there, she just seemed so like the life was just like sucked out of her. Like she, this is not the first time a dude sat there and was being propositioned for this thing. This is probably a very normal occurrence in their relationship. And because she, she she just seemed like it wasn't really for her. She was doing it for him. I didn't, I just was like super uncomfortable and I didn't do it. But now I wish I did. I wish I did. Wow. Looking back. Why was she bad? She wasn't ugly. She wasn't my type, but she was like, you know, it wasn't like she was ugly at That's all. Kind of she was actually pretty. She was pretty, but. It, Does that happen to you? No, that happened. No, not to me. Not to me. Never. That's crazy. Not, not like an old man. Yeah, like some fans, fans will come up to us and be like, yo, fuck my girlfriend. Like, what? Yeah, they do say that. Fuck my girlfriend. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's crazy. The fans crazy. are, the supporters, they're like very fuck, supportive. Fuck my sister. Yeah. Well, Vic. that's, uh, that one I, I, like, no, the girlfriend, girlfriend shit, they do be saying that. Yes. The sister, I get it. It's kind of funny. Like, yeah, oh, my sister fuck, you know, Kyle or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. But it's really like So you to fuck their girlfriend is like, wait, that's a huge that's your girl, I guess bro? it's just an honor. Yes. Right? It's an honor. In their eyes, like, wow, like, I he did I it. tossed my girl to one of the boys. Like, it's all about commitment. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. He's a it, team. It's literally it's jokes. All, you Fans have to are, commit. They're when team you players. Commit, they're it's team over. players. It's honestly sure. hilarious now that you I would never do that personally. They just want you to commit. Once you commit to that. Have you done that? Uh, a year ago, yeah, in Dallas. Like, you're just like, you replied to Was him, this on like, the yeah, tour? No, I, so this girl came over and we were having like a party and shit. Was and this when we were all there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dallas? So we were having a party, yeah. The first, Fort Worth was Dallas Dallas was amazing. Was, we're, the we're, first tour? Oh yeah. my, oh my God. We, we were, um. That we was a, fucking that's lethal. That's deadly, deadly. Ooh, deadly. We, had, we had a party and he didn't what tell is, me. I'm getting the chills right now. I know, my heart's racing right now. That was the best time of my life. But yes. Wait, where do we go? We went Arizona, but we just drove through. Arizona, we Mexico, Fort Worth, we drove, yeah. uh, New Orleans. We yeah. tore Texas. Then man. what? Um, and then we went to Florida. But with Bradenton this situ- first. Yeah, Bradenton. This oh, is Bradenton. fuck. There too. Bradenton yeah. was the best time Chef ever. TJ. Yeah. Yo, that was, was, that was, that was oh, life. Shit. That was life. But yeah, dude, no. She, so she came over, right? And we were like, hella girls, whatever. We're having a, a blast. And... I fuck her, and then the next day he DMs me. He's like, "Yo, bro, like, I, I, like, thank you so much for doing this." And I'm like, "Like, thank you so much for what you did last night." And I'm like, "Who the hell is this guy?" And I used to respond and shit. Like, I still do, but like, I was just like, very like, "What are you talking about?" So I respond. He's like, "Bro, you fucked my girlfriend. Like, it's, a, it's the greatest thing ever." What? He's like, "Thank you," and he and he gave me the handshake emoji. You know the handshake? Like, yo, like, yeah, boy, like, thank you so go. much. And I was like, I, I replied. I was like. Bro, I'm I'm really sorry. Like I was like really really sorry about it. I was like, bro, I don't I don't want to do that. He was like, no, That's don't sad. worry about it. Cut that, cut that. He I remember he That's said that. Fucked. He said, cut that, cut that. You did me a favor. He said some shit like that. I was like, what? Bro, can we we can't? I, I don't. I gotta ask you if we could tell this story or not. But the story with Jay and that one. And the, I can't. I mean, it's so long ago. What? Do you remember Jay like swooped in? Do you remember oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could I tell that story or no? Yeah, yeah. If he's cool with it. Oh, in Dallas. Dallas. In, in Texas. Dallas. Yeah, yeah. Remember the. Yeah, I don't mind. You don't mind? That's it. Okay, so... <laughs> Wait, are you telling him a story of how Jay robbed my bitch? Yes. Oh, fuck. All right. Can I tell it? Oh, yeah. that was... 
I didn't know. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is one of the funniest things. Can she I tell was, it for real? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't steal his girl. So she oh, had a boyfriend no. too. Buddy. No, she listen. Did. That's, you, <laughs> she had a you boyfriend. Did. That's, that's where this trust shit came in hand. Okay. It was you, that incident right there. Okay, let me tell the story. <laughs> this was. That's why. Everyone's drinking. Um, Kyle was working on a girl for, for a good amount of time. Okay. <laughs> now, and, listen, I was just running Pong. Okay, with you know, shit. I'm not Let's saying. Not, I'm happy well, to tell a story. The let's party listen. and you were there. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> listen, it. listen. <laughs> okay. If my bitch got robbed, my bitch got robbed. It's true. No, it's true. she got taken. But let's make it clear. Literally, oh, I wasn't it's putting not even in like that. I wasn't even, it putting in heavy weight. Like Cousin fine. did it on purpose. For me, I'm just kidding. I'm just running kidding. pong. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll he's, allow he's it. King at beer pong. I will tell you that. It was. It wasn't like he was there all day. That was easy wheels. But okay, go on. Okay. So he's playing pong with the girl. Okay. Wheeling her, I think like I may have said something to him like, yo, like you think it's gonna work? He's like, yeah, I think, I think, whatever, right? Um, and and I'm like, oh, bet, because I'm chilling. I'm not really. I might have had a few drinks, but I'm chilling. I'm just kind of watching everything. Staying sober, like Steve says, scouting. Yeah, like a night, the the silent assassin. So I'm just no, watching. you don't almost expose you. You know what you're doing? Yeah, oh, wait a minute. You fucking you pulled the ISO with your bitch, and you, <laughs> oh and you went off. I walk in the fucking guest house, <laughs> and you're running chess with her, bro. Oh yeah! I was like, oh, no, yeah, no, no, no! Guys, try to expose me. <laughs> this guy pulled the ISO to chest with his bitch. Right, you on. had a crazy girl that night. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Let me tell you the story. Crazy girl that night. Like, yo, chess is the <laughs> yeah. play though. It's the move though. <laughs> like you were like. Yo, you have to. Be. Yo, you're, you're the like, bi- be like this. Yo, when Brad, when Brad finds a bitch, he's fucking gone, bro. It's like, yo, Brad, want to reach a party you with really us? Like to get to know them, which I no, like. no, he yo, fucking grabs to. and goes, bro. Yeah. Well, why do you go? Do no, because he knows how to ISO. Like once you get them away, yeah. then they're, he just talks to them, it's wheels them, and they're down to leave. Four L was playing that night too. You was in some hype shit. <laughs> yeah, you were, yeah, you yeah, was, yeah, yeah. You were let like, me, hold on, motherfuckers. Let me explain this story. God <laughs> damn it, this isn't about me right now. This is about Jay. Okay. So he's playing pong. I'm looking around. He he. Kyle gets done playing pong. He's chilling. We're kind of talking. He's got a big dub. Yeah, got a dub. He won for sure. No elbows. No elbows. <laughs> no, he's good. good. He's really good at pong. No, There's no cap. Now. Anyways, the girl walks away, and I'm just chilling, watching. Right. <laughs> Jay is literally over here, like, like away from like the pool. He's like kind of this way. So we're over here. There's a pool. I'm looking at the pool, and then he's just beyond the pool, and there's like a little seating area. And Jay's standing over there by himself, no one by him. The girl walks up to him, and maybe three minutes go by. Swear to God, three minutes go by. This girl is straddling on top of Jay in the darkness. Like, you literally, like, you just see the girl, like, this in the air. You said she was floating. Yeah. Because, well, you literally yeah. robbed. You practically robbed I'd, someone. I had like, moved on to another broad because I didn't think I was going to wheel her. Fair. And I'm, like, talking to this other broad, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. Crazy. And Jay so has fucking... He goes from that, he's holding the girl... And then, like, instantly to, like, the back house somewhere. Just carries her to the room. But, like, bro, I think, not Jer- Jeremiah wasn't playing. It was some song playing. Yeah, t- and so like, what went down over there? So what what had happened was, okay, she was standing here solo, like, just on her phone, doing nothing, just bored. I'm like, why is this beautiful girl just sitting here just I love this. being so bored? I'm I like, love Jay's story. So what I said was, yo, I dig your vibe. Like, Yo, this is what needs to be explained. This is very important. I said, I dig your vibe. She was like. I dig your what, vibe. What, the vibe of her just No, this chilling? is exactly what happened. <laughs> I was like, I dig your vibe. She was like, I dig your vibe. This is so... And then I was like, wow, I appreciate your vibe. And then, hold on up. This this is what happened. Say it the right way. I dig your vibe. This is what I said first. I dig your vibe. She said, I dig your vibe. Then I said, I appreciate your vibe. She said, I appreciate your vibe. I said, I appreciate you appreciating my vibe while I'm appreciating your vibe. You're so dumb like that? <laughs> yes. So dumb. Cousin's I was like, so dumb like that. I was like, wow. She's really like... How did that work? Into this. And then I was like, yo, would it be weird if we kissed? Yes. And she was like, no, just go for it, stupid. And then we started making out. I picked her up. Yep. Some fire songs <laughs> playing. We go inside this like room like on the outside of like the building. Yeah. And then once the song Probably finished... fucking my room, man. Eh? Did you... Oh. No, it, it was <laughs> Alec did some autos room. Yeah, it was Dita Moss. Yeah, you, you came in there. You Did came you? in there. You were like, no, it was, yeah, it was, you guys were like in the same bedroom. And he was like, you better not be in my bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, no, their room was right adjacent to mine. Yeah. And I came yeah, up like, yeah. yo, this motherfucker better not be did in my bed. Did you feel like a rapper? <laughs> like, did you feel like yes. Chris Brown or somebody? And then yes. what'd you tell her? I was like, should we get out of here? Once the song ended, I was like, should we get out of here? And then we went inside the room and then firehead, fire push, and then. And you fucked her and said, die, bitch. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You remember that. Yeah. 
That was fucking oh, hilarious. Oh, yeah, you did say yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, yes. And then after that, she had to leave not too long after that, her and her friend. And then one of our other boys hit her friend. And so, like, she fucked on a f- Nick. She <laughs> fucked, her, her friend fucked Nick. I don't know if we can put that on. Nick's, ed- yeah. Nick's editing the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So she fucked Nick. Her her friend, her best friend fucked Atta Nick. boy Nick. Yeah. Let's go, Nick. Well the done, one man. Who's editing Let's this go, right baby. Now. Shout out to you. Editing the pod. And so they had to leave. Okay. They had they had to leave. And then once they left, um, I think Salim and Alex told me that she had a boyfriend. They was like, did you smash yeah. that girl? I was like, yeah. Why? And then you're like, she just got inside the car and like kissed her boyfriend and like just dashed off. And I w- that's that was the moment when I was yeah. like, you can't I, trust. I, I lost trust. Like. She 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 never never said she had a boyfriend. Yeah, no, I remember. I didn't even know her name at that time. Yeah. Like, this is where all the problems began for you. Yes, but yeah, yeah, and that that was the downfall of my trust. Damn, that was. And that's when tour. I lost trust for you. Oh, oh it's not like God. that. No. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, Jay, listen, Jay's listen. Fucked in, Jay's fucked in your. I know it's too. you know he what he's Jay. Fu- well, no, he fucked this one up here. No, not this one up here. Oh yeah, yeah, the old house, the shower. Oh, Miss Tiana. Yeah. You f- yeah. I go to Canada for like two weeks. Like everyone moved into my fucking room and shit. They're showering. It's like a broken bong in the shower and shit. I'm like, Seems, nice. Makes sense. <laughs> Super. Accurate. When you did that shower thing, I was like, dude, what is, you're crazy. Yeah. Was, <laughs> the shower. We got, we got a lot of stories together for real. Yeah. A lot of That's another one. Yeah, man. And Church then we shirt. went to so Tampa much. and we were staying in that, oh, we rented fuck. out an entire motel or like pretty much, right? Oh yeah. We had the entire place. Yeah. Yeah, we rented out, like, this, like, motel by the beach, like, the whole thing, like, 15 rooms. And we just fucking raged and shit, and, like... We were, like, rock stars, like... That was a good tour. The quality of the birds on that tour was, like, pretty good. From, like, Arizona The bus, the sprint, we had a sprinter. That was amazing. On the way to the parties, 15 girls, like, all of our boys, and then on the way back... 30 girls inside, like, lapped up, playing Pop Smoke. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's, one, that's, that's, Pop Smoke. that's when Pop Smoke was lit. Damn. Was like, Florida, the first time Florida was the greatest time, man. That was the best time of my life. It I mean, it's still time. vibes right now. A couple, like, couple ones that got away, too, eh? Yes. Like, all the boys fell in love once and shit, too? Yeah. Oh, all, yeah, all of us did. Maybe yeah, twice? Did. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn. Like, it's like, was it meant to be? Probably not, but. Nah, probably not. The yeah, ones that got not. away, man. There's always they had to be there to away. teach you a lesson. They had to teach you something. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a beautiful time. Do you, like, put your girls, like, on a diet, like, when you get with them? Do I put my girls on a diet? Yeah. Like, like, do you, like, do you, do you, like, tell them, like, yeah, hey, I think you should. Brad doesn't them. date fat chicks. That's fucked up, Brad. How is that fucked up? Brad gets the fittest chicks, right? Like, you I know? mean, I have a preference. You know? I like, sometimes, like, a What's wrong girl? with the BBWs? Nothing wrong with it. Would you smash Lizzo? No. <laughs> I no. wouldn't. Would you? No, I wouldn't smash this. No. <laughs> yeah. Because you no. would, for sure. I smashed it. Uh, no comment. No comment. He, no he comment. smashed the Lizzo before, yeah. I smashed the Lizzo before. A Lizzo before, but... Or a girl who was well endowed. But no, I don't. I don't tell. It's always jokes when one of the boys just takes out, uh, <laughs> takes down an absolute fucking unit, man. Like manager Drew did that once in Arizona. Oh, yes. God. Dude, this guy he was pounded the biggest broad ever, bro. He's into black girls. That's dope. Dope. He's into sisters. Fuck. Fucking like, dope. I gotta get that guy a fucking trophy now that That's I think about dope. it. That's dope. Like it was like a fucking. Drew's into. Dude, sisters. I love that because he's not a big dude. Yeah. I love that. I love it. Like, imagine that sex tape. Like, it's Damn. just fucking weird, man. Or I think I think that what nice we gotta do is like a, a trip again. Oh my god, bro! I'd love that. That was so much fun. Like, um, like us, Steve, everyone, we like go a full trip. Either like, where should we go? That's the question. Where should we go? Because we yeah. went to fucking Ireland before too. That was all awesome. before can, we. But came. can you imagine? We all said like, "Yo, we're going to Europe again," or like, "Bro, I'd be insane." Or like a two, three week Asia trip. It'd be a fucking movie. Africa. Oh, I want to go to Africa so bad. Dude. Australia would be cool too, but Australia. It's, it's like real locked down there. Yeah, yeah I don't think is. we can do imagine that. like we all go to Australia. A I think that should be the have... next, like the next year should be all like international shit. Maybe it'd be amazing. There's dude. a lot of supporters I, in Australia. I loved, I loved going to Ireland, man. That was fucking so fun. Just oh, yeah. a beautiful place to see. Yeah, I missed that Europe tour. I came after, but damn, that you looked really that. fun. Dude, Montreal was, was great. different. Canada, I Canada I was nice. There. I really like Canada. Toronto was really nice. Even seeing Montreal too was really nice. 
I like just seeing different shit. Traveling is so out. awesome. It's so yeah, awesome. We gotta yeah. go European. Bro. Brazil was crazy too, like, man. Oh my god. Brazil Europe, was insane. Maybe Europe next summer. That'd be amazing. Like rip all of it. That'd be a fucking movie, dude. Like legit a movie. And it's really love everywhere we go. Like, oh my sure. god. We caused the fun. riot. Trying in new Ireland. things is always yeah. great. There was a fucking riot. That was one of the things I wanted. Like that was cool. Prior to that, have you ever had like any? I don't events remember. Like that? They Texas. just keep getting crazier and crazier, Texas right? Is crazy. The first crazy, well, crazy I don't know if we could talk about that. Wasn't it that, Illinois? That was a crazy we one, didn't even yeah. We did not plan anything. Oh, Illinois not. was, man, that, we should tell that story. We were just going go, we to go hang out ever. with like, Illinois was crazy. A couple I wasn't there. I wasn't there. It was just so many people, to say the least, it was just so many people. Like, we literally went to a kickback with like five people and it just snowballed. This person told snowballed. that person that person. Every place we moved, it was like, we were getting followed like each by one car, one car, one car. And it went to like 40. Like, once we stopped the bus at a gas station, it was like a meeting. Like, you didn't even post a story, Kyle. Like, nah. usually we post stories and it gets lit like that. But this time, Texas nothing. was crazy, too. When you go to yeah. those small towns. Oh, the whole just, town The small up. towns, they all hear it. They yeah. all. They it spreads. All, I mean, you got to think. Because not much goes it. on there. So it's Yeah, like, it spreads like that. Wildfire. Everyone's like, yo, yo. That was that was. if you get posted on too. one person's Snapchat that has 300 people, but yeah. they're all in the city. Yeah. They're all those like are 150 of them are like what the fuck Nelk's here yeah like, they're pulling up and then they just tell people all type in their group chats yeah that was that Ireland was crazy Ireland was nuts we we couldn't even do the meetup because we the cops showed up and kicked us we out. showed up in Ireland and yeah. We, yeah we announced the meetup and it was just so many people and the cops were already there you guys know we can't even do meetups like that no more because they just get shut down yeah apparently yeah like a stadium damn. well yeah. apparently you gotta well, like I mean, sanction just, things. You have to tell yeah, the city. That's what we've been do doing it. with Happy Dad shit. Okay. Like, and when the cops cooperate, it's so dope. But most of the time, they're just like, nah, like, we don't want, like, we're not going to help you with your meetup. The kids go crazy, man. Like, I know. And then dude. Ryerland, what? We almost, we almost caught a charge, yeah, right? We had arrested, to dip. Yeah. And then the cops, like, found out where we were, right? Yeah, we showed up at the bar. We were, we were gonna trying to do it there. We, yeah, we Good were, thing we didn't. We were so close to getting everyone to show up at the bar. Yeah. We would have been fucked because yeah. the cops came in and were like, you, were you guys just doing this thing? We're like, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, but basically the same thing. They're like, you just can't do this because like, you're inciting like riots or some shit. Like, even though obviously we weren't, but they were just like the amount of people just can cause a problem. So that was crazy. I remember they were chasing after the car and shit. Holy, we like, we're going to pull up to stop and they just like swarmed the car and we drove away and they just chased on, like, all these kids back on foot. such a great, great thing. It's like, like just like all the great things that's happened. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, so it feels amazing. like you're a rapper when it's you're on the road. Making memories is a fucking blessing. Like, to oh, be able to do God. this and travel is During just like... During the pandemic, too. Yeah. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. We were the only ones doing that, too. Before before we joined, I'd never been out of state or anything like that. So, like... Yeah. This must, I mean, this whole thing must have taken you so many different places now. Yes. Yeah. It's fucking cool, man. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go fucking overseas. Yeah. Australia, man. Like, Italy... Bro, this is a crazy so pod. Sick. Almost two hours. This is wow. lit. I love We've this been shit. talking. Is it two hours? Yeah, one hour, one hour 47. Oh, fuck. The time's right there. Yeah. This might be damn, the longest two podcast. hours. Almost. It's Let's definitely go, baby. the longest you get podcast, me around. Yeah. I'm talking for days. Dude, I, I God feel damn. Great. This, this was a great Everyone's like, shut the pod. fuck up, Brad. We got, we, got, we got deep, right? Yeah. I, I think we it, covered man. everything. I love to, I love this shit, man. Awesome. It's so fun. 100%. Is that a wrap? Why, you got to go pump or what? I got to go I have lessons right now. Got to golf. <laughs> Yo, you look like you're, you're, you got golf shoes on and everything. Yeah, man, I'm trying to go pro. So I believe I gotta, you. I got to keep going. You actually, you never know. No, dude, listen, the way he spoke about this when we were I at I did that good meetup, today on the back nine. You you were watching. I was checking. A guy, who didn't, even know you, a guy who didn't even know you said, like, you Yeah, we played with up, two other guys, and, and he was just like, he was like, for only two months of playing? Like, dude, you, you keep playing, please. Like, yeah, that shook he me. He was too. like, hey, when you're, he, I told him I wanted to go pro. He's like, hey, when you're on, to, uh, when you're, on, when you go on tour, uh, make sure you like, remember me or some shit. Like, he was, we were just playing. Like, Bro, I was he having is, a good he time. Is, Salim's really good for a beginner. It's fun. Salim really believes in himself. That's oh, yeah. That's I the biggest. I, I, I don't even care about I told like, them, the money. Like, golf's that one sport, too. It's like, you can do it forever. Yeah. If he does keep up this playing like six times a week, twice a day, yeah, I don't like. He might go for yeah. A how old are you? Know. Like, if you can keep I'm, it I'm up, nineteen. Like, that's yeah, crazy. I'm not even doing you it because like, it's like, oh my god. Like, I actually genuinely love the sport of golf. I straight up see. It I the same love way it, as... man. It's it's golf the chillest dope. thing. Listen to music, golf. chill. Just, it's great weather. Golf so dope. I love golf. The yeah, but I do have. You have the same drive you have playing golf is like the same drive you have. Doing videos, yeah. So videos like, wise, I was if you like, want to go from every day it. when it I must, was coming up. It must be like relaxing, like almost so relaxing. It is. It is. I just love how technical it is. 
like for somebody to be really good at golf, like that really opens my eyes on them. Like, That's how I feel about like, the gym. Wow, like, I relate to the gym just like the that. The gym is fucking dope too, man. Like, yeah, it's all patience. Patience. Yeah. That's Everything all in is. life is patience and committing. Consistency. I learned in golf, you really, you got to commit. If you're going to do something, commit to it. Yeah. Same thing with patience as well. It Everything teaches is me like a lot that, of things. Though. Yeah. Everything, Everything in life is like that. Exactly. It relates to a lot of life. Like, that's that's why I love it. Yeah. That's why, like, that's why I look up to a guy like Tiger Woods. Like, man, he's so intellectual. Like, just the way he talks, like everything, like you could just tell that guy is just dying. Tiger's dope. Out of him, I love sure. Tiger Woods. I love him so Wait, much. What are you gonna be for Halloween, Brad? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm Tiger. Not. We gotta figure out like something. Tiger. Jokes. Yeah, oh, you're sure gonna do Tiger. Yeah, you did. If we Tiger, pull up yeah. to that Miami party, you're gonna, you're gonna, you'll be in Miami, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll have be to... funny to think of something. Maybe like a fucking superhero or some some shit like that. It's like dress up. Like what? You got real excited over there. You should dress. Yeah, Gabriel as, got real excited over you there. You should dress yeah. up as Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah. Like a what? A hook? A oh, like a hole. Oh, you hook. just want me in some little purple shorts? The hook? The hook? He just wants me in some little purple purple shorts. This guy said the hook. Yeah. You should dress the up hook. as Ric Flair. Ric Flair or Hulk Hogan or Hulk Hogan. I love, would love that. I, I love you, dude. He just you wants know. to see you without a shirt, basically. I know, I know, up. I know. So just a little shirts on. He'd be lurking on your gram, low key. What? I've seen, you, I seen you at the office. You probably love when gay guys hit on you, huh? <laughs> Bro, I mean, it's like, I, I feel like you do. I mean, like, I you're like, mind, man, I'm not that guy, but like, <laughs> thanks. But like, like yeah. But like, yeah, you're I like, but, you, I mean, you're like, don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly. That's fucking funny. <laughs> you're like, I ain't going to do anything, but. Like, I appreciate that, though. <laughs> Yo, I'm that's... flattered. I'm flattered. You're like, I mean, you never know. <laughs> like, <that's laughs> possibility. Hey, never rule anything out, but thanks for the hot Yo, compliment. it's comedy. <laughs> Holy shit. Has that ever happened to you? Um, I mean, dude, the internet, I get blown up by dudes all the time like that. Like, the cra- people say the craziest shit to me. But never so much in person. No. What, gay dude DM you a lot? Oh, my God, all the time. Really? I want to eat your ass. I want to fucking sit on my face. All this crazy shit. Bro, I mean, they're dudes. Like, it makes sense. The testosterone's higher. They're, like, fucking just, like, you know, we're savages. Like, they're just, they just like dudes. One hour and 52 minutes. That was a great Let's go, baby. I fucking love it. Really, really good talk. I like that shit. We should have have you on more, like, just as a a fourth to your guests whenever you want. I love talking, man. I love this. I love this. I enjoy this environment so much. It's fun. It's fun. We're fucking loving it. It's doing good mm-hmm. too. Uh, uh, casting is the most fun. Yep. Comment where where we should go though. We should do that. Yeah, 100%. actually comment below where you guys want us Africa to go on like a crazy dope. trip. That would I would good. love to go to Africa. Africa go drop to a Australia. drop a thumbs up. It helps uh helps the fucking algorithm. Yeah. Thumbs up. If, drop like a thumbs up shit. if you fucking like the long episode and shit. We're about to hit a mill too. Same. We're about to hit a milli on the podcast. Wow. Yeah. Damn. It's been blowing up. Dude, man. it's so fun doing it. Fun. It's fun talking. It's the best, man. I feel like cause we have not like we haven't smoke had a little like bit that. yeah awesome blossom right. easy hell yeah see you Keep guys golfing yeah. guys whoever's out there it's lit, dude. i love fucking podcasts man yeah, you gotta no, talk dude. man are you gonna keep your shrooms or what no those are mine he like he brought those those, right here. those are mine oh, no 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 oh who's that Gabe brought those for me oh those are steve's perfect hell yeah beauty Thanks, Brad. Yes, thanks for having me. All right, boys. Oh, shit. My bad.